<laughs> Welcome back to PUBG Player Unknown's Battlegrounds here in Baltic Esports League uh, week three. Yeah. So it's been a very quick pace. We've been advancing forward on here. Uh, and one more time, there's going to be a lot of interesting games ahead of us today. One more time, it's going to be four games. So two maps, uh, excuse me, two games played on the map of Irangle and two uh, played on the map of Miramar here. Mm -hmm. uh, we will have a few stand-ins playing in today as well. So uh, just fastly with the, with the stand-ins in the latest, we're going to have the Kaz playing again uh, because the Chris and Gaxi is still in the star order. Um, in the Mighty Wolves, there's going to be Zen in the place of the content. And in Accenda, there's going to be an uh, emergency substitute. A.B. Williams, as we know, last week he played as an emergency substitute for the What Do You Mean? And now they change it, the places. Cool. So, obviously a lot of players happening here. So, uh, excuse me, roster changes throughout this tournament and on a lot of stand-in players. So, one more time, this is going to affect how the teams perform, how they approach their strategies, and how they decide to move out throughout the map. Also, I will remind you one more time today, we're actually going to have two giveaways. Exactly, So yes. we do it's still have our good old classic hashtag vaults in the chat to get 10 euros worth of free food. But I feel like the second one is probably going to be the one that people yeah, are going to be most interested one. Yeah, today. It's, it's a bit costly. Would you like to uh, yes. elaborate? So after, I would say after the second game, we're going to give out the vault and then in the, somewhere. somewhere around the end of the stream, we're gonna give out uh, from our sponsor Samsung a battlefield. battlefield. The newest battlefield that's coming out right now. Uh, you can go and play it even now if you get the game to, to experience the new features as, and everything. I mean, as long as you have your download speeds up and ready. So, uh, what you'll need to do is going to be uh, very similar to what you do with uh, hashtag vault. It's just going to be hashtag Samsung in the chat. You can do that already now. And I will remind you one more time that you do need to be subscribed in order to be eligible for the giveaway. Meaning that you just need to click on the subscribe button, yeah. tap, uh, tap in chat, hashtag, hashtag vault or hashtag Samsung and yeah. Uh, and you'll be eligible for both of them. Yeah, and for the battlefield, to we're gonna announce it later on in after the second or the third game. So probably keep keep, keep in there so you know all the info somewhere in that area. And of course, uh, I'm just extremely pumped to see that there are newer things being added to our uh, reservoir of inventory here. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, we added a uh, pants yard desk just to yeah you came through with that i, I, mean, I didn't believe that you're actually going to take few pants from your home well that's good we later on probably we're going to have one one versus one fight as, as you can see i do a lot of cooking yeah, and i probably <laughs> going to win that because well, in the one we won size matters all right uh probably yeah just because you have like a big, bigger amount of yes the hammer power there hammer power so uh i believe we can quickly jump into standings here just to one more time remind you guys where we stand currently with these teams and what is the current top four so we do see on the very top uh team litest is actually still there uh closely followed by division and then afterwards we have mighty wolves and garlic cola I feel like out of the four teams here, Garlic Cole is probably the one that really stands out for me mm -hmm. in the sense of uh, we didn't really know what to expect from him in the first week and then we yeah. saw them constantly surviving and as we talked already a lot of times, those guys like to play in yeah. pairs. Exactly. In in the first few weeks, when they, like in the first week when they were playing, they weren't performing at the highest level, but in the last week, they showed that they, they can be reckoned with. Well, they, they definitely made the, their adjustments to the game and how they mm -hmm. approach it. And it looks like as uh, we've been talking about their buddy system happening yeah. over there, uh, that really worked out for them. Um, further down, though, we do have Lietuva Satetis and Agresiva and Betsu Pruoto. Actually, slightly surprised that Agresiva are not slightly higher. But as the name states, yeah. those guys like to pick fights and uh, they've been doing uh, left we, and right. We've been talking about that for the last, last two weeks, Dan. They, yeah. do, they take too many fights. Too many. They are learning. They're learning. They are slowly, you know, yeah. uh, getting some points for themselves as well. And of course, in the seventh position, they are all closely followed by also uh, discount gaming there. So yeah. uh, perhaps they're giving themselves a bit too much of a... Disco. Yeah. Wink, well, wink. <laughs> oh, all right. Good point. So, uh, with with the point system, you have to remember that. Well, it looks like a big difference between some of the places, but you have to re rem remind yourself that it's you, 
the, the team can get themselves around like se- even 700 points if they are really good uh, for, for the single match. And yeah. it can move really drastically for, for the next games as well. So you get like 500 points if you score first place and then there's 15 points per kill. So and we have seen that some, some teams can rack around 17 kills even playing in the team of three. Yeah, yeah, it, that it's was, possible. Uh, that was latest play yeah. there, I think, who managed to secure that. But uh, it actually hasn't been uh, so uncommon to see uh, kills like with a total count of above ten. Mm-hmm. And uh, I'm really pleased, of course, to see something like that happening here because that means that's a lot more action for us as well. So. The first map that we're going to see here today is going to be Erangel one more time. So we usually start off with that. Just a, you know, it's a pleasant view, all trees around, no stress, everyone's relaxed. It's a really... Apart from uh, yeah. trying to kill each other, but... Uh, <laughs> it's a really common map and everyone knows how to play through it. And I, I think, like, for, our, like, tactical-wise, it's the best map to watch for, for that kind of, uh, kind of way. But... Uh, it, it, it can change really well true. considering that there's not that much verticality in comparison to what we see in Miramar uh, obviously it is a slightly different approach that you mm-hmm. need to take into mm-hmm. this game and uh, yeah one more time uh, Irangle is so- uh, somewhat of a map where you definitely need to have some sort of means of transportation at least to like phase four five yeah, a little bit at, yeah. at least well the half of the team if, if they have that transport yeah. they're gonna be all right yeah, and uh, of B- Miramar, as we've talked already so many times, it is going to be uh, a lot more dependent on these mid to long range fights, and you really need to have your scopes ready for it because because of the verticality and how many hills and bumps are on this map, you, obviously players can just quickly duck behind uh, mm-hmm. ridges and uh, really mess up your 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 mine in that sense. So yeah. uh, we do have the players already starting to jump on the server here. So do you have any sort of like a prediction of what might be happening in the first map? Because I mean, we last yeah, week we well, started like trying to guess which lobbies are going to take the game we, uh, we kind of succeeded yeah we, yeah we, 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 we called out off. that uh, it's going to be division mighty wolves and litest and that's what happened yeah well i think in this week of course i have to uh, support my my kartoshka right oh you're, you're still hoping for <laughs> yeah, that yeah, hello yeah. kitty yeah. shirt you know you can just wear it one day no, it's no, like no, i don't there's think no the reason will mind. You know, i i think uh, i hope that in this week we're going to see some teams that didn't perform really well in the previous two weeks that they're going to show off and probably get somewhere around the first well let's say three positions of the games okay so uh i mean out of those teams that we have currently i think one of the teams that i would like to see do in succeeding is saber I mean, they have been yes. starting off really good. Usually they survive about uh, phase five, mm-hmm. uh, six, uh, sometimes even slightly longer than that. And uh, I think they're potentially uh, are, are definitely a team that could secure a win here. Same as we saw in the week one, the very first game was won by a team called Praise the Lord, if I remember yeah, correctly. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. And we really haven't seen that much success in comparison mm-hmm. following up. I mean, last week they had a good game where they stayed... Uh, very late into the actual match, I believe they finished like somewhere around. Fourth, yeah, fifth I, I think position. it was you know a beginner's luck, and now we see oh, what happens oh, oh, when, oh, when actual fired. games start. Well, uh, another team that I want to point out is Four Gentlemen. Yeah. Uh, uh, previous week we called them out a, a lot of times. They had fights with some some teams, and they actually won a few of them. And yeah. they ended up somewhere around the, the the fifth to the eighth position. They wrecked some points through that as well. Well, and the other team as well is the well, what was the name? Uh, no organization as well. Yeah, because they they sometimes well the problem with them is they end up in a position where well they kind of can't get out of it. They, yeah, so they're not thinking one one step ahead. But I think that's gonna but change. But they do manage to survive for a very long time usually. Well, it, it happens. It's kind of That's the game of survival or killing. You know, <laughs> those, those are the two things. And few teams that we know, and th- those who are like in the top five positions are the ones that do both of them. They survive and kill. Yeah, they, they kind of have a mixed batch of everything yeah. there. Also, uh, notably last week, we had two games where uh, the team from Silver to Land continuously ran into the lobby of Division, where you have players such as Al- Alchemy- Alchemist, uh, Girix, Flabber, and Suffolk uh, on their lineup. And obviously, yeah. they constantly had to fight through them. And I feel like it's 
It's slightly annoying whenever you ha get like two games in a row yeah. where you run into the but, same team. But both of those uh, times, I think from Silver to Land, they lost those battles. So yeah. I, I think it's going to be the new Vendetta coming in, and I, I hope that they're going to show themselves that they can, they can, they can show off a little bit more and and end the division streak. And also, speak. Uh, well, if I would know how to speak English, I could actually tell you. But speaking yeah, right. about from Silver to Land, uh, actually, Grian is not going to be playing today. Oh, right. Yeah. yeah, they're gonna have the uh, substitute dude playing. It's gonna be Execute. Okay. So, Execute is gonna be playing for them, if I'm not mistaken. I think that was the nickname of the guy. Uh, so, yeah, Griand uh, is the shot caller for them, basically. So, Ooh. that's a big well, drop down for them. And the question is how they're going to approach the game. Now, do you think they're going to try to play safer? I mean, I've had the is. chance. It is a possibility that they can, they can change a little bit of the play style, because if previously. Uh, Grian was calling the shots and well, they didn't, didn't work out that good. So maybe if they don't have him, well, they're gonna show more aggressive aggressivity or some other play style that we don't know about. Are you in a like a flamey mood? Like you want to just flame no, these no, teams no, no. Or? I I just flame those who suck. Ah, okay. It's all right, you know. Mm. There, there's, there's juicy. No picking. I, no, it's fine. I, I'm absolutely <laughs> fine with it. So uh, yeah, well, obviously one of the teams that. Uh, Definitely on paper it feels like could find more success here, but so far they only have fun only one uh, Have had one excuse me uh, only one game where uh, Grian managed to survive like for a really long time and uh, Yeah, he but he lost. Racked up kills. he but lost the one one on one battle. He did doesn't matter points We, we were talking later on with him and, and he said well, it, it wasn't his problem. It was a surprise He had no helmet. I hear only excuses. All right the, I mean, the guy. It was probably, a game to take for him, all right. Yes, but uh, you know, I mean, you need to understand that the dude's probably survived like ten fights already. Most likely, you're not going to have any utility remaining or anything, and you'll be lucky to have uh, your friendly pan with you. And oh, oh, actually, speaking of pans, yeah, we will reminder. remind you. A uh, quick reminder there. So we actually have two contests uh, made by this lovely person over here one more time his nickname is nobody and uh, he has decided uh, ever so kindly that the very first person that scores a crossbow kill in this tournament will get a 50 euro worth gift card for archery lessons and yeah. not just any archery lessons old school archery yes lessons. To, to learn the old old ways of archery and as well the first team or the first player who scores the kill with the pan yeah. gets a signed pan from all of us in the studio. And it'll be a brand new one, not 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 these not, ones. not one of mine. Well, we can, if you want, like if you prepare these ones. Well, you know. I mean, it's perhaps <laughs> it's more of a personal belonging, yes. but uh, I don't know if anyone wants that. It's a history. Actually, let no. us know in the chat if you want to have <laughs> the old pan, like if you want us to give them the old pan or a new pan, because it doesn't matter which one we sign. Yeah. So, yeah, it's cool. Yeah, it's fine. I mean, as I said, more personal belonging here. So, we have the final teams gradually jumping onto the server here. Uh, we have lobby number 17 joining here. That's going to be discount gaming. And lobby number 24, gentlemen, is still missing in action. As for aggressive about support, I only see two players here for now. Eh, it, it takes a little bit of time. So, uh, let's speak about the, the, the update that we had in the previous week. Did you mm -hmm. did you have some changes in, in the playstyle at all? Like the new gun was used, I think, few times that we saw. Actually yeah, and there were screen. solid kills. And I actually tried the new gun, and I liked it. Well, I don't know what these people are saying. I like it. But in the longer distance, it's really hard to control the spray pattern for well, it. Well, don't spray. But how can you shoot a car then? Single bullet. You don't need to yeah, shoot yeah, the car. Yeah. You all need right, to just shoot right. the driver, all right. man. Ma oh, miss miss the big shot. All right, just with a, with the one taps, right? Of course, one tap. Okay. I, I want to see that after we finish today. I want to go home and play a game, and I want to see that you score a kill with that with that gun only tapping. Okay, I'll take that bet on. We're gonna head home afterwards uh, after this and actually jump into a game and see if I can do it because I know I can. I already played. Mm -hmm. I actually, oh my god! So I went into a game and I got something like eight nine kills. I do have a screenshot of that eight. eight or yeah, nine. and I, I I once again just got outplayed in a 1v1 and well that's the same story of the green you know what i yeah, mean exactly I mean. literally the same scenario happened to me and i was like but you know, but you know the eight or nine kills is nothing to brag about like we have yes. players in the team litters that drag around 10 to 12 or 15 kills in a tournament game that's a different thing in a pub game if you get nine kills that's just a starter 
that's just the start. I haven't played the game. I know, you, you were really high in the ranks, all right? <laughs> I know. That's why I picked you for the team. Hello. Hello. Then okay, so where's, where, where's the people? Why, why are we not in yet? Come on. I want to start. I want to see the action. I want to see cars explode. I want to see, like, a super highlight reel and coming you, out. Okay, okay. And I want to see crazy and sniper you are the shots. One, and you are the one calling me aggressive today? You want the fire, the cars burning, the people in dying in action. And now I'm the aggressive yeah, one. Just making no. sound extremely horrible. No, no, no. Okay, well, it's, so it's only ten, 10 people left, and then we're gonna start the game. Um, well, slightly uh, on a more serious topic, I did speak to a few of the teams, and a lot of the teams still prefer to play from the edge of the zone. Do you still feel like that's a viable strategy right now? Uh, Consid only... Considering that the zone moves slightly slower here, but deals yeah. more damage. Well, you have to re re remember that it's really hard to... Look, you, you have to control not only what happens in the front of you, but what happens in the back as well. So you have... If you have really good team play happening, and you can you can actually secure in the front zone and the back, back side as well, pun not intended, then, uh, yeah, you can play through the, through the side of the zone, but actually what happens in a lot of games that they get clashed in from the sides of the, yeah. sides of the map, or there are really late players coming in from the zone, and it's really frustrating. I so that's it was, why. Was yeah. it not the last game that we saw last week where there were like three players from Division, I think? Yeah. That they were on top of a hill. The zone was just behind them, and it actually like pushed them exactly. out into the they, open. They they got surprised with their pants down uh, from behind. Exactly. With their pants down. <laughs> pants down. Yes. <laughs> well, uh, th that's why I prepared the the middle zone play. Yeah. Well, you just loot around. You get to the first zone, and then you wait for the third zone. For the third phase happening, and then you go in the middle okay. of that, and you secure a few of the houses, and you—it's kind of like if you go to the houses and get a really early picks there. Let's mm -hmm. say if someone is already in the house, and you know how to like secure the, the fights in the houses. You take those, you stay, stay there, you get extra loot from those unlucky guys that were staying there, and well, it's your home now. Okay. Um, also spoke to one of the teams, and they said their genuine approach is basically whoever finds the rifle first is uh, going instantly towards the middle of the zone, oh. and then afterwards the, the remainder of the guys actually um, also loot for him. So as long as he has a rifle, he just finds a building that he's going to hold. Uh, we're speaking about Erangel here probably yeah. more. Actually, didn't ask about the map, it just makes more sense that it would be done on Erangel, where he just holds window positions and just making sure nobody else is pushing in and then yeah. securing that I, building I remember, we had something similar of the strategy, but the only problem was we had a guy going to the middle of the circle without a gun. So. Ah, oh, <laughs> perhaps that was our downfall. I, I think we didn't think it through, that you needed a gun <laughs> really? to secure the middle side and of the map. Sherlock Holmes in the building, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. All right, I, I, I got an info for, from our managers in, in the ear that we are ready to go. And beep, 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 beep. Uh, so that okay. means we have, again, a little short commercial break. Literally one minute. And when we come back, we're going to see crazy people jumping out of an airplane and trying to kill each other. So yay, yes. fun times. And don't forget about the hashtag Walt if you want free And food. hashtag Samsung for a free game. Uh, all right. Killer, killer, 
Красный сыр, розац. Скандал, секрет. Овый сыр, розац. Крипи, крейзи. Я вы сыр, розац. Lūdzu, jaunā Helio interaktīvā televīzija nomaina la Telekom ITV. Televizors, stālrunis un planšeta darbojas kā piens vesels. Tagad pārvaldi un aizraujies pilnīgi jaunā līmenī. Izklaide progresē. Helio! And welcome back here. So we are already in the server and uh, I believe the airplane is on the way. So uh, one more time, ladies and gentlemen, unfasten your seat belt. And, all right, uh, all right. Uh, just a little bit of out. information for the Mighty Wolves. There's, uh, I, I told that it's going to be Zen, but the player didn't want it to play this game. So it's going to be Fizz playing for the Mighty Wolves in a place of content. Yeah, so you can see already Lit is here jumping out, heading towards uh, George Pool as they already have done so beforehand. Same goes for Mighty Wolf, so they're not changing their strategy. You can also see, I believe that is Saber that's heading towards, uh, what's the name of the place? Primorsk? Yeah. Yeah, I think those are the same guys heading into that direction. So uh, definitely for the start of the jump, we haven't seen too many switch ups. There's actually a team heading for Severny there and uh, they're going to be having a great time as obviously whilst in the process, they do yeah. see that they only have one single lobby and if not far from them. And most likely that lobby is going to go for the shooting range, but actually it looks like Vivo is going to head there as well. So these two players just above Rojok here in between shooting range uh, yeah. will settle well, for those houses. It, yeah, it looks like it's going to be a really good action somewhere around the school. There's two lobbies that's going to be fighting really early. And as well in the Yasne, we have somewhere around the place, we have two, three, four, four teams landing there. But it looks like a lot of them is trying to get some cars. Ooh, for the and that first circle is spicy. So much water in it. Yeah, and it looks like Groovy is uh, going to take the fear repair as well. And some other, no team is in the military base at this moment. Yeah, so you can see actually Lieta was the Tatis players playing around Quarry. And as I already told uh, previously, Sabre uh, is around that Primorsk area. You can see General here uh, already has found the bike for himself. He's going to be heading towards his teammate. That is going to be Fist that he most likely will pick up. Just a quick Uber ride there. And uh, I feel like that also is like a cool ways of transportation if you could get like a lift with a bike. Yeah, well, right now in the, on the side of the uh, Yasnaya to the to the way of the Lipovsk, we have a lot of... Uh, a lot of uh, a lot of people and a lot of action already as Yansa has managed to already kill off Kofainis. That is uh, lobby number 15. Uh, Kun actually securing the first points in this game, uh, killing off one of the Pew Pew players. And uh, you can see he's left on relatively low health there and should be uh, healing up. And I actually I love to drop in Rajak. I feel like it's a very easy area to clear out as long as you start off in those buildings on top. And the Freezy is actually taking some shots towards him as there is like a good old car chase happening. And uh, that is going to be Armin Zet who is uh, trying to kill off the player here so he's running for his life and uh, there's actually one player at Flabber from a division uh, controlling the prison uh, so he's gonna find uh, probably lots of loot in that area and Zank's now running into this building that is from uh, Garlic Cola so uh, team number four currently in the standings I'm sure he's well aware of the fact that there are two other players here literally next to him and so you can see that both of these uh, teams comically uh, of course uh, trying to loot as quickly as possible and looking to see if they can uh, knock anyone down yeah. before he got in the house he drew over one of the players of the team uh, of the team Pandora and killed him as well in the action oh. and now he just gets away Okay, well, so free shotgun and still survives with his vehicle is obviously going to be heading towards his teammate. First phase is going to kick off here in 2 minutes and 40 seconds. So uh, Freezy looks like has managed to secure himself an M4 and there's already a fight happening here in this building block next to the school as a sick one looking to see if he can find anyone from Ascenda. And uh, one more time, uh, both of these lobbies already, uh, what do you mean, in Ascenda last week fought it out literally mm -hmm. in the same of these buildings. And, uh, and what do you mean players action. that time 
went back. Yeah, and as well, we have nippers really now just in the school oh, waiting Groovy. for the action to happen. Groovy with a new gun has managed to find Shinas here, so that is points for Leto Vasatetis finding a kill towards Cable Knights. Uh, also, a lobby that I feel like should be able to pick up a game here uh, in this uh, season as uh, Cable Knights, I mean, they've been securing themselves uh, relatively okay. Uh, in the sense of how many points they gain and uh, how they approach the game, but I just feel like they're slightly unlucky with uh, with their timings. It feels like they usually arrive in the worst of timings, or are uh, well, you surprised can call by it a gunfight. A, you can call it a timing or a skill, you know. <laughs> ah, okay, so we're, we're gonna <laughs> Again, go that back direction. to this. Right? Yeah, yeah, back to this, exactly. So we're just gonna check out here to see if Du can manage to spot any of these players currently holding the UMP in hand here. Has mm -hmm. a few bandages yeah, and a few. Yeah, UMP thing. with a 2x scope in the houses, I think. It's, I really hate it. It's the unusable. I hate the 2x. It's, well. I, it's just unpleasant. But with the new. Uh, what was the name of the gun again? One more time. Bial, Bal, Bra, Bra. Something. Something, something. The new, new gun. gun. The the uh, AK's slightly uh, held back cousin. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yes. Well, you can call it that, that as well. Okay. So obviously, still a few shots uh, being fo uh, fired here throughout. As you can see, AB Williams looking to see if he can drop Marksy here. As uh, actually, oh, he's going to be shooting, shooting the, the bullet. Yeah, he's the, shoot, shooting the the tires of the bike. Or whatever that is. That is. That's the bush. A bike. No. Or a bike. That's a bike. That's a no, bush. That's a bush. Okay. Well. He well, there that. you go. PUBG graphics yeah. for you. He's, he's uh, dead. The bush is dead, I guess. The bush is dead. Uh, perhaps he saw a little beetle in that bush that he wanted to get rid of, and of course, definitely worth it with those SKS bullets. Uh, the drop is going to be in water here, so let's check out and see uh, what we can find. What goody goodies do we have? It's uh, hello. Oh, there we go. Is this going to be a low percentage drop? Please let me know. Uh, oh, mm. MK14, but with a full set here of um, level 3 armor, helmet, and of yeah, course and the ghillie suit. Yeah, and it looks like is going to, to try to take it. Uh, I think it's trying to find it. Yeah, well, it looks like uh, he can't find any boats and that's, that's where it's going to go. Okay, so Hittus is going to be looking uh, for those both there and A.B. Williams in the process has managed to find here and there we go. We have the first error of the day. Apologies, ladies and gentlemen. Jumping back into it, same as before and still unknown why it's happening. But I've, we have heard a few comments saying that most likely it's just PUBG things. Well, we, we tried a lot of things and well, hopefully one day it's going to work perfectly, right? Uh, blue hole, please. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, jumping back into this, still all teams are alive here. 71 per people remaining as Haston now with the silent M. Uh, M4 is going to be looking to see if he can, can spot anyone and AB Williams still moving around these buildings making sure his teammate is team is staying alive He should really uh, Drink an energy drink in a moment there as Dasta is still looking to find more bullets He only had like 15 and obviously that's not an amount you want to move out with his has and still staying put in that situation uh, but he, he stayed alone there. Right now his team moved away to get some more loot and, and, and some... Well, I think they're going to come back for action in, in just a few, few minutes or seconds from now. Yeah, so we do have phase one on the way for a while now. Still three minutes and 20 seconds before we see phase two. And uh, hopefully plenty of teams have started to uh, go towards the actual circle as uh, lobby number 22. That is what do you mean players are looking to survive here. Still taking a few shots towards their backside. Um, hit us. The, did look like he has managed to find uh, a vehicle. Will be kicked out here one more time as Bullbeats in the process did manage to uh, hmm. find a drop onto a player. Didn't really uh, got to notice uh, which lobby number was that. So, jumping back into this, as we can see, our lovely uh, loading screen um, <laughs> has a lot of interesting tips. Sniper rifles strike enemies down from afar. Well, what? It Whoa! Fun really? Fun facts, PUBG. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, Captain Obvious. 
Thank you. I thought you could do it with a pistol. So, favorite has managed to find Kavorka, actually. So that is uh, Saber player getting down uh, one of the litest players in the process. And that's definitely uh, something, uh, the, a note, noteworthy event. And also, uh, PI5KNX has managed to find Alchemist. And that's a huge player to go down on the side of Division. We uh, continuously saw him racking up a lot of kills with that mini and uh, we also saw that it doesn't even matter if two players want to push him together uh, he's still going to get rid of them with the mini in the process it, there it so it looks like he he got shot out of the car because uh, in in a in a in somewhere around him there was a car slowly moving down the okay down the hill so the name of the weapon is barrel m762 uh which means that uh, now we finally have a name for the weapon and will not need to call it in any other strange way as the circle is closing in now and you can see that mighty wolves have uh, taken over these buildings here towards the middle of the circle fist looking to survive uh with that there's just buggy. a few bullets away to, to pop that uh, pop that buggy and, and and kill the fest but it looks like he, he gets away yeah yeah so um, quickly now just a few kills came through one more time is what do you mean lobby players have managed to find one of the division guys and struck him down now silo here with the scar i actually still really like the scar it's i don't know it, i i i really don't i can't kill anything with that yeah because I, 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 I think like I'm it's bad really with, easy to with spray with it yeah. Especially with those new attachments, obviously now Flabber here does spot a player, but is not going to uh, be uh, giving away his position, just looking to survive, as he's actually going to be the last man remaining for Division here, so does explain why he wouldn't want to, well, so early on, still being in Phase 1, to show where he is, as these Garlic Cola players, one more time, as you can see, moving together as a pair, uh, heading towards the circle and uh, just managed to get in there as well. What do you mean, players? Yeah. Just got into the circle, and we have Mighty Wolves here. Fist just admiring how beautiful well, are these What doors. we could see was a really good aggressive play from the Garlic Caller in the early game, and they already got two kills, Yeah, and they're ready to slaughter some more. And I, I, I hope that uh, in, in this game they get some more, because uh, that would help them in... Uh, to secure some uh, some higher positions as well. Yeah, currently the top four is uh, definitely uh, anyone's man, any man's game here as NBS LOL now with the barrel has managed to find favorite and that is going to be from your favorite lobby, Kartoshka. Well, he's out. So still, uh, basically what? Kartoshka players need to, need to win a game in order for you to come in a pink Hello Kitty shirt, right? Yep. Cool. So. Nineips, uh, that is going to be lobby number 12, that is from Pew Pew, has managed to find a kill for himself here. A lot of kills one more time happening uh, from the side of Lietuvasa to 80s, and I actually love to see that early aggression coming out from them. As uh, previously last week, I believe we saw more like a tactical approach from them, it didn't really work out in the long run. So uh, now, oh my god, King 3D has managed to drop a few here, and so many down players around, it's essentially King 3D against Sponsorius is it and he just just spotted somehow still says alive and King this Pansorius is the last member of those teams that collided together to be alive and if he takes Pansorius he can actually try to take some of his members up oh and my yes, god that, 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 that was a very early pre-fire coming out around that corner it almost didn't work out for him as he gave up so much time but he's gonna go down Cloudtail will take him out and that is going to be two lobbies out of the game both Lietuvasa Tetis and uh, four gentlemen are out so early, phase two only now happening here as 25 seconds remaining till the next circle and Mighty Wolves trying to deal as much as damage they could possibly can to these uh, passing cars. Armand's already has managed to find a mini for himself and I believe he suspects there might be a player in, those, in that hut and there's so many dead bodies in that area as well, that, like uh, so much free loot that these players can pick up RQQE here from Agressiva Ibetsu Pruoto looking to see if he can secure any more as what do you mean are also extremely active here finding a lot of kills early on and uh, I believe almost shutting down a full lobby in the process but one of their people is down on the ground and they require help as Freezy looking to survive but do they have any smokes I mean I only see uh, it, the, the guy just 
got away is to fix him. He he survived with uh with, with only like slight health left and he was the last member of his team and it was really unfortunate that they let him go as well. Yeah, so it was pa close. It was the, close. the Pandora player is down here and Cloudtail one more time finding kills. Uh, that is going to be towards from Silver to land. So uh, one more time, this team is playing today without their shot color. Grian and Mad Kid with the M24 has found one of the Garlic Cola players as NBS LOL just continuously keeps wrecking havoc and finishes off New River with that HE grenade. And uh, Mad Kid will finish off uh, PI5KNX and also team number seven. So that is from Silver to land is out of the game. And that is horrible news for them as well as obviously see now as we continue in these weeks i mean every mistake you make and uh, the sooner your team is out of the game the bigger the consequences are for your team in the standings so you really really want to go for the long game now and i feel like as we progress here we're going to see a more cautious approach coming out of these teams for the most part apart from like mm -hmm. teams like agar siwa but suprua too latest uh, i'd say mighty wolves division we have to was a tatis and who else do we have that might uh, go a bit more aggro here? Um, oh yeah, and Garlic Cola. I mean, mm -hmm. I feel like those are, they're, they're not going to change their um, approach in the process. Right now we are closing in for the phase two and it's really close for the zone to, to come in and we're going to have a new one happening just in a second. And right now we're going to watch the fight where the pra Praise the Lord is fighting some of the What Do You Mean members. Okay, so uh, Dosta is actually down on the ground here. Oh, sorry, Axenda. Axenda, Axenda yeah. And uh, you can see that they actually already have secured three kills for themselves. So that's already 45 points gained for them. Uh, PI5K and X has managed to find the return uh, drop onto Madkid there with the car 98. So Madkid did have that M24 in hand. And of course, if they have the opportunity, I would really feel like the M24 is definitely a lot better pickup in this situation as the... Uh, bullet drop is lower for that gun uh, than it is for the car general looking to see if he can deal any extra damage in the process here towards uh, lobby number th three that is going to be aggressive by better pros and the new circle is in also here so a lot of action already happening you can see that uh, anyone from the lower part of the map will be forced upwards here as they're already are essentially buildings taken and i like the position of garlic cola and mighty wolves in this because that is going to be i feel they're not going to move for another two phases most likely well if, if there are two ways that can happen they hold the routes and don't take any more action or they jump in the cars that they are stacked near the houses and maybe they get some more action happening through that yeah so fist has managed to drop one of the figure of five players here who are essentially uh across as uh, aggressive red support as you can see in the minimap they are moving around and uh slightly approaching sort of mighty wolves but they're staying uh, in that wooden area uh just above a hill and a general now peeking towards those yellow houses looking to see if he can find any more of uh, figure of five players definitely has spotted and tagged them before in the process as armin's is looking to return the favor and rqqe has managed to find kaz from litest so that's one litest player down but as we all very well know that means essentially nothing the remaining players can always still pick up the pace and continue on what what is interesting what we can see in the map right now the the Leto uh, was aggressive, but support. they're just in the middle of the forest, near the other houses that are battling right now. If they keep the position in the forest, and if the zone takes them out from the houses, they can surprise them, being just yeah, there. Yeah, because uh, obviously, if Mighty Wolves will need to move, essentially everything around you is an open field. And there are actually two hills around you as well, where if you're even going to try to approach uh, that hillside, if there is a team that's already established there, well, you can cut yourself out. And Silo uh, will drop Dosties in that situation now Nervout needs to see if he can help out his teammate and that is the lobby of what do you mean once again I mean they've been extremely proactive here early on in this game and I actually love to see that aggression coming out as it looks like that Dosti is going to go down inevitably here and Nervout needs to see if he can find the timing to run out of this blue zone as I uh, just have to take the time he still has some heals left he has to understand where the enemy is going what's the position what they're going to take and then run through the blue zone and try to find a new position to take the action for and get back 
into the game. Yeah, so he's gonna be quickly picking up whatever his teammate left behind, but one shot coming in here uh, will force him to heal up probably, and Cloudtail now managing to secure uh, a, full, a kill towards the lobby of Cable Knights, and actually that is going to be the last man for them going down, meaning Cable Knights are out of the game as well, and that is also going to be Division going down in the process, Garlic Call take them out. Still, Saber players now finding kills towards uh, Cloudtail has been dropped as well from Lydis. So I believe they only have what? Uh, one man standing. NBS lol is still alive. And he's alive. still in the blue zone. And it looks like the other team's going to try to push them in and, and try to secure th their position in the zone. And, and some of the members as well are in, in the zone for the team. Discount uh, Gaming. Discount, uh, Saber as well. Yeah, so Saber and Discount Gaming here fighting it out. And a young death needs to like uh, take a huge, huge. Uh, detour just to get safely back into the zone as this Saber player is going to be making his way back just making sure he's not going to be shot in the back in the process there and Young Death looks like will be able to survive it like a gift from the gods there is a motorbike here so he'll be healing up and he's going to be jumping on that motorbike as long as he yep he got the timing right on that heal first aid so he's going to be just riding into that uh warming draw uh, warming excuse me dropping one of the garlic cola players in the process so that um it can definitely favor Kuhn in that situation one more time. And it looks like uh, NBS LOL was able to pick up Cloudtail in the process. Happy days. There are still still two latest players here. And obviously they need to survive for as long as possible. We do have the next phase already here. And it is going to be 2 minutes and 40 seconds. And as you can see, Mighty Wolves definitely in a very good position. Same goes for lobby number 15. That was Kuhn. And of course, praise the Lord that are slightly towards the uh, edge of the actual circle. Now General here making sure that bike is not going to be going anywhere soon as uh, those players are essentially trapped in that small house here and Tuflix might be in a world of trouble as he's driving by uh, all four uh, Kuhn players in those buildings. Mad Hill, Mad Kid, excuse me, hiding away with that AK and uh, looking to see if he can find more kills with that M24. He did manage to find a few drops already uh, knocks uh, towards enemy players and uh, I, I, one more time just mighty wolves have hit the jackpot with the guess of where they should go and which buildings they should take the zones that we are having right now are really crucial for the other teams we are only 20 minutes in the game and we have 13 teams left and only 36 people alive yeah, so uh, this, this is off the fact that, as really I already said, that yeah. just because that first phase had so much water in it and it was towards the lower part of the map, forced a lot of movements. And obviously, when there's a lot of movement happening, there's going to be a lot of knocks going out here. But, as I already previously said, looks like a lot of the teams have decided to approach this game now more aggressively. A sick one will need to somehow move, I believe he's... Uh, yeah, he's... Uh, he's gonna be looking towards that one of those saber players I believe he saw them previously and Syncopis has managed to find Silo so that is going to be one of what do you mean players already on the ground here really well this is a smart play by the player uh, sick one from the what do you mean he's going in the back of other, he doesn't see other teams as well but in the back of his in the blue zone there's still another member from different team and it's gonna be a, an easy fix if he can yeah gets the aim right Oh, come on, dude. It's just tap, dude, tap, tap, it's tap, 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 tap. Come on. Tap, tap, tap. Oh, Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Finally. Woo! Okay, so sick one does secure a kill here. Uh, one more time, that's going to be 15 points. But he's going to be instantly punished from the back by Sin So, uh, <laughs> joke's on you, dude. Uh, there was a teammate behind you there. So That's what we were talking before these games that, that happened right now. That... Uh, there, if you play to, by the zone, you always have to check the backside because there's always someone still in the back zone trying to heal up and run for the for his life. Yeah, and Packer here has managed to f find a kill towards nine eps, and that was uh, one of the pew pew players here going down. So still. Literally in the last minute we've lost like five people already on the server and see, you can see non-stop action here Mad Kid obviously is just gonna be sitting there looking to survive as long as possible as he's currently the only man standing from his team and Garlic Cola's position actually is also extremely interesting because they will be uh, Essentially they can just move throughout that uh, lower part of the ground, I don't know what you want to call it, the sewer system, mm -hmm. essentially, and uh, move into the next circle uh, relatively close, as uh, Pandil's still fighting it out with General in, in these buildings, and you can see that Mighty Wolves finally will be forced to move here, and one more time, praise the Lord's uh, position, I believe, is extremely well, you can see Mad Kid does hear these players around him, is going to go for that HE grenade, and he might find a lot of damage here, 
as the grenade will explode literally next to PI 5K and X in this situation. They're just looking to see now if they will be able to flush him out in return. Madkin is flanked from behind and that is going to be Pew Pew Lobby out of the game. Not entirely sure why he decided to show himself in that position. I don't think he was his position was known until he actually threw that grenade. It, it was a moment to get out from the house and try to come from behind of, of this team, the, uh, of the garlic call and try to surprise them by that. And he was still in the zone. Kinda yeah, like... like he, he, he could just sit in that little house and wait for the next zone. I mean, points for some, would. For some surprise that actually pays out in the points. You know? Yeah, so uh, going for those kills, yeah, not, not, not really a fan of that play in that situation. And you can see lobby number 15, so Kuner actually now in a very good position to secure this one. And you can see Tuflix is showing how it should be done uh, to a mad kid and just um, not making himself known as Cloudtail has managed to. <laughs> and as I was just praising Kun, uh, Cloudtail drops one of their players. And the drop is actually uh, towards Littest players here as well. Can we see what is in the drop? Uh, not, not, not in the second. So okay. uh, what I wanted to talk about is Glowtail makes a really surprising good shots in a, in a longer distance of the moving targets. And it, it, it shows all the time whenever we, we spectate him and, and, and look for how he plays, he always takes really long shots and really precisely he aims for, for, for the upcoming where the body is going to be when the shot meets the yeah. meat. Yeah, so he's definitely practicing his long range here. Still 11 teams. 30 people remaining here. I believe he might just spot uh, one of the aggressive but to Proto players in that situation. And now Armin's has managed to drop Syncopis in the process here. So that is Figaro 5. Finally moving in onto lobby number 18, which is Saber Senso now just running for his life, looking to see if he can find any coverage. I believe he's the last man standing for him. And now General needs to move here and has aggressive by Betsu Proto in front. And also will find a kill on. Yeah. Yeah. Patrick here. What's really interesting about the play from the Mighty Wolves in this game, they're playing really slowly, really calmly. They're getting a, a, a good shots coming in in the long range, and they're just moving through the zone step by step. They had a really good houses in the in the early game, and now they just racked two, three kills, and this this is gonna be about it. They're gonna end end themselves in uh, well find themselves in end game and, and fight through that yeah and i mean in the process there funny enough general did drop one of the uh praise the lord players but the kill was actually stolen away by nbs lol so uh nbs good job from you and <laughs> somehow uh i feel like litest have uh, information about the where next phase is going to be as they have secured themselves in that building and there's a lot of kills and that is going to be praise the lord out of the game thanks to nbs lol and of course pandalis uh, from figure of five will find one of them and armands has been dropped here on the side of mighty wolves but general instantly returning the favor and will drop on a ball and is down he will go down in the process only fist and kewish the murloc remaining here alive currently as they need to pick up their teammates and rqqe looking to see if he can somehow survive this shooting range. I mean, he's in the zone, so you can see that the last vehicles are being used. Masters there with that a bike is going to be driving into the zone here, and Qish will find a quick drop towards RQQE. Still needs to find more of these players, and he will be dropped by Cloudtail one more time with that car 98. And My it's a God! Long distance. It's a long distance shot that he's making one by one. He's dropping everyone. No one is safe when he's alive. And the Arbans and both uh, Fizz have been tagged up heavily here. So he's looking. He knows he landed that shot in that situation. So he's just <laughs> looking to see if he can drop any of them. But Anabolins does manage to eliminate Arbans. And that is going to mean Mighty Wolves are out of the game. Still seven teams remaining here. So a very rough first game for them, I would say. I mean, they were not expecting to be in that position. Considering how good they established themselves early on in these phases. What, what's uh, right now for the zone what we can see it's it's gonna be again middle of the fields and with one house and it's gonna be for the team Littest and they're still holding it 
Yeah, they're they're definitely not going to be moving out of that house, and uh, they're just essentially letting uh, Cloudtail do what he does best, just dropping guys left and right with that car 98. As uh, PI5 KNX has managed to find one of the uh, aggressive Betsu Proto players with that M24, and I believe he has a silencer on it as well. So. I, I love that silenced deep noise that the M24 makes from a distance. But from the other side, they have a, a new guest. Those are the team figure 05, and, and it looks like they're gonna start picking up the fight with the garlic cola because uh, they're in a really good position. They're gonna wait out for the next zone, for the next intel, what's gonna come in, and, and then move move by that. And yeah. I, if, if the zone's gonna be for them, they're gonna stay there in, in those hills. If not, they're gonna start pushing and try to find some, some better positions for themselves. So NBS Law has managed to find a kill towards lobby number 15. That was Kuhn. Also, Anabolin is instantly killing off the last remaining person of that team, meaning they are going to be out of the game as Cloudtail now uh, will drop. Uh, that was no organization uh, player in that situation. So we do have four teams, so that is going to be Figaro 5, Littest remaining here, as well as Aggressiva Betsu Pruatu. Notably, somehow have survived all of this mm -hmm. chaos long enough in the process and garlic cola and uh, speaking of garlic cola cloudtail once again just managed to drop one of them he's currently sitting on seven kills and nbs lol has five altogether their lobby already sitting on 13 kills here with the potential of picking up more this is going to be the one of the first times they're actually going to have to switch the positions and get out from the houses and the new grounds and try to get some uh, some more action there and it looks like it's gonna happen there uh, right now, but they have one car waiting next to the house, so they can try to get some more cover by that, by using it. Yeah, now, oh, figure of five, still wreaking, uh, causing constant damage on the side of Garlic they Cola got Hill. They, they got Garlic Cola out from the fight right now. We all have only three teams left in this match. It's Aggressiva but Supratu, it's the latest, and by surprise, we have the figure of five. Yeah, so figure of five definitely have picked up the pace this week here and you can see that Anabolin is now looking to see if he can drop more of these players. I believe that's only Zigzas remaining here alive for figure of five and he will need to pick his and battles NBS and the timing. And stole both of those kills for themselves and he ranked 30 kills just by sitting down in the field and, and, and getting those who are already knocked down. We have only five people alive, three teams, it's one member uh, Zigas from the team Figure 05. We have two members from the team Aggressive Abbot Suproto, it's Anabolins and RQQ, and the NBS Lol and Cloudtail from the team Littest. And right now, the Cloudtail is getting down, and only NBS is left in the game for the Littest. It's still possible to pick it up, and he gets down uh, the member from the Figure 05. That means there are only two teams for Oh my god, alive. NBS could actually go down here. He's being tagged up heavily, and by Aggressive Abbotsu Proto might actually pick up this match here right near right now they need to push and that is going to be the end of the game as Littest is going to be out and RQQE with the help of Anabol and it's only six kills together in comparison to other teams but finally yes. I see by Betsu Pruatu are going to pick up this first map here and but I think point wise if you look point wise I th uh, the Littest could come out in the first place if we look at the points but in the first no, they, place, they, in this map we have the aggressive support as we just uh, saw and the second place we have the latest with surprising 17 kills and i think they got a majority of the match they only were 17 no th three of them playing so yeah. that's really good result for them. So one of the reasons why they have so many kills, they actually managed to steal away a lot of downed players already from other teams. And that's obviously, I mean, if you have, again, this high kill count mm -hmm. and in combination with the second place, I believe you are right. Points-wise, they're definitely going to take away a lot more points away from this game. But still, congratulations to Agresiva Betsupro to securing 500 points for them and also having 66 kills on their side, meaning that they yeah. will get another yeah. 90 it looks extra. Like, it looks like they can actually actually rank the games without a lot of action they played it really well tactical wise they they had a really bad positions in the in, in the woods and they used it for their own manner they stay stand uh, stay there they didn't move around they waited all for the intel and then when it well the end game, end game happened they just went there slaughtered everyone that was left yeah so they were uh, still what in that little forest area when mighty wolves were still in the buildings in front yeah. of them so they waited for the next phase waited for mighty wolves to move out and then afterwards mm -hmm. only followed late they into that zone and that's yeah. probably one of exactly. the reasons why they survived so long in that situation obviously 
uh, having the advantage of that the remainder of the teams mm -hmm. are, were already slightly moved closer there. So in the third pl place in this game, we have the figure of five, but it's really surprising from their side. I think you had one of those who called it out before this game that we're going to see some more action from these guys. And yeah. right now we, we saw them in the third place and actually playing really tactical wise in, in, in a better position than in the previous and, uh, weeks. They were well. pretty silent in like phase mm -hmm. four, phase five in that situation, meaning that they just established their positions. We're not looking to get lose any of these their teammates early on here and only really started to rack up uh, the aggressiveness uh, towards the later half yeah. of the game here. So definitely well played from them. I, I love to see new names coming up in these top four, top fives here towards the uh, at the end of each match. And a uh, number four, as in the standings, Garlic Cola. Yeah. I mean, solid attempt. Didn't really work out. I feel like they, they were just... Mm -hmm. Too much, too much fire from all directions what, coming what down they, on them. What, what I did, they showed that early game matters. If yeah. they are really good in the early game, they can position themselves in the new zones for the next two or three phases without any problems and not getting a lot of action, but the action what they had, they played it perfectly. They got yeah. two or three kills in some of the houses. After that, they moved to the new zone and just on and on from there and also no organization i was thinking like why why i don't see that name so much on the map there were only two players on their side playing here in the first it looks game like they, they played and the that sneaky was... game that uh, played off so they racked the fifth place right <laughs> yeah. now okay so we do have updated standings let's check those out a litis now still currently sitting in the first position with 4185 points if i can still see Place number two currently 14 division with 3,320 3, points. Very closely followed by Mighty Wolves with 3,240. And finally, Garlic Cola, 2,630. But as you can see, Agressive by Bet Support off their placement currently in this match and uh, securing that victory have moved up extremely close and are looking to drop Garlic Cola out of that top mm -hmm. four. So good job from them. Lietuvos uh, I believe, haven't changed their position. But as you can see, what do you mean? Finally, in the upper half yeah. of the standings. In the so, first page. As you really can see, nice. really plays them off uh, uh, closely, followed by Praise the Lord, who can still drop them down during this day. Afterwards, we have Discount Gaming and No Organization, mm -hmm. also from Silver to Land, off the back really of Really unfortunate again for them. Yeah, they, they, they dropped out uh, really fast in the in Somewhere the game. around 17th position, 16th position, some, yeah, somewhere some, there. Some yeah. yeah, so uh, unlucky for them. Kun also did manage to survive for long, but uh, they inevitably were dropped there. So something slightly went wrong in the but process. Same what, for Pandora. What we Pandora. have to talk about a little bit is the, the division. They played it really good, but they dropped out like flies somewhere in the mid game, like really fast. I don't know what happened, but they were playing perfectly in the, in the early game. They got the position and everything and then boom, they're out. Yeah, just like but that. In order for you to get something into your stomach, make sure that you have typed hashtag vault in the chat to be eligible for our free food giveaway. We're gonna go battle it out with our pans. And of course, if you want to battle it out in Battlefield, you can also do that by typing hashtag Samsung in the mm -hmm. chat and be eligible uh, to a giveaway of the new game. Uh, probably something that I would really want because that game is expensive, man but definitely worth the buck. So stay yep. tuned. We're going to head into a small break here. And when we come back, we're going to see Miramar. And that is going to be game number two of week three of Player Unknown's Battlegrounds here.
Stālrunis un plančeta darbojas kā piens vesels. Tagad pārvaldi un aizraujies pilnīgi jaunā līmenī. Izklaide progresē. Helio!
Welcome back, lovely people here. It's gonna be game number two as we are gonna be heading into Miramar here shortly. So I will remind you one more time uh, about the giveaways. Yes. I know we've been spamming you guys with the text, but I mean, fair enough. You can get free food and I mean, you can really get a very good game for free. So hashtag vault, hashtag Samsung in the chat. You need to be subscribed to the channel. You know the drill. And of course, if you win, uh, you will find your name in the chat announced by our lovely production manager here and of course uh, you'll just need to drop us an email on bsl at bsl.pro to make sure that mm -hmm. you get your gifts and speaking of gifts we have been gifted the gift of the following game here and uh, of course we can uh, speak about shortly here how this is going to yeah. turn out as obviously Miramar is approached differently. Yeah, in a Miramar, I want to see more action from the from the other teams as like division. We know that they can play this map really well. They yes. in, in they, they can secure the houses and, and the positions in the in the new zones. And they I think they had a really unfortunate game what they had previously. And I hope to see more from their side as well and from the other teams as like Axenda. They they have shown that they can play this map really well yep. if they don't separate themselves. Because in yeah. the previous games they were separating two and two somewhere in the map and that's how they lost it really really easy in the early game and also i think one of the teams that we really haven't seen shining today here as normally knights do shine in their shiny armor would be cable knights mm -hmm. so cable knights haven't managed to find success so far here in a week number three game number one they were eliminated somewhere around the middle and hopefully we'll be able to put up a more a stronger fight in this uh, next following match here so we have the players already pretty much on the server here we'll be launching it shortly so what are your uh thoughts what's your gut feeling about how this thing is going to go down between all these teams here on miramar which which one do you think well, we need what to we saw in the last game was out. really really fast pace in the first 20 minutes we lost half of the player base yeah. we had on the map and i 
hope it's gonna happen as, as well in this game. In the Miramara, it's easier to, to be done. And if we're gonna have a really bad flight pattern for them, so that means they're gonna cl clash in, in the first or in the second phase yeah. and, and kill each other really fast. I mean, if the flight pattern is gonna be somewhere along, like, uh, like I say, a vertical mm -hmm. line towards like one of the side of the maps, uh, that is going to be an action-packed game here. Now, yeah. curious also to see which of the teams are going to be the ones that are going to be heading for that very central area of Picado and are dropping there. As we know, you, me, and a few of our friends love to drop in Picado mm -hmm. just to battle it out, get a good feeling about the game. Well, it all started with a meme to, to just drop down where everyone drops for the action, but it, yeah. it pays off. It actually pays off. I, I think we it took about like 10, 15 games to get adjusted to how Picado mm -hmm. plays out, mm -hmm. and then afterwards it was... Uh, uh, always a fun time there. So, uh, speaking of uh, fun times, I believe if uh, as long as we have all the players on the server here, we're ready to jump into this uh, game here. Mm -hmm. I I have to give a really good props of the late like, last game we had from the team Littest. Yes. As, as again, again they can sh they show that they can do a big action packed late game. And in the mid game, they can rack a lot of kills. And I hope to see that as well in this game, to see a lot of points for themselves. And as well for the other teams, that is like the, the division, as I said, and as well the Mighty Wolves, to show yeah. this something similar of the game style, what they were playing. Okay. So definitely, I mean, for Littest, obviously a lot of is on the shoulders of Cloudtail and Envious Lol here in this uh, last match that we just mm -hmm. saw, picking up a lot of these kills, and we are already on the server, so the players are joining Ooh, in. Yes. I believe we are. Uh, this flight pattern is going to be a juicy one, so there's probably going to be a lot of action towards Puerto Puerto. So, uh, wow, Puerto Paraiso. There we go. Now I can speak. Uh, but before that, one more time, a very short, short commercial break, and when we come back, we're going to see. As always, we do crazy people jumping out now in a yes. desert, battling it out in this yeah. so, terrain. See you in a minute. Hello, we are actually back here. So the plane is on the way. Uh, perfect timing, and we, as we already saw there uh, initially, that flight pattern is going to be a painful one. You can instantly teams heading for uh, El Al Zahar. I believe there's Mighty Wolves in the pack there, as well as Ascenda, and it, also yeah. division players already. In this kind of, uh, in in this plane pattern, you, yeah, in this plane patterns. Thank you. You have to get really fast cars and try to move outside from, from uh, where the enemies could be. And that's what we're going to look forward for, where, where the teams are dropping down to get those early cars or what the play style is going to be and where they're going to find some loot for themselves to, to actually play this game. Yeah, and as you can see, uh, also Littest here heading towards that graveyard direction. Cloudtail also, he's uh, flying a bit slower, mm. so I believe he's already on the way down to the ground here. So they're going to be positioning themselves close by and uh, I believe that's Cable Knights that are besides them uh, heading for Minas Generala Generalis there in that uh, position. You can see <laughs> a lot of players here. Actually, three lobbies now. Um, Kun, uh, Mighty Wolves and uh, Division, as I already previously said, and also Ascender players. There are actually four lobbies are around El Al Zahar here. General just gunning for that uh, gas fuel station. 
to see if he can pick up any sort of rifle there. Suffolk has managed to open up his shoot relatively quick, quickly here and just looking to see if he can spot out where these players are heading and which direction is open. Looks like also Saber have secured a few vehicles on their side. Kuhn are actually heading upwards towards the map and Suffolk, ooh, what a beautiful shoot. And oh my god, that first phase. Look at how much water oh, is in it. It's going to be so much action. And what do you mean players are probably extremely happy right now that they have positioned themselves in an extremely well place here. Obviously that road coming down from El Zahar, El Al Zahar uh, towards them is going to be a yeah. li literally well, lit. <laughs> yeah, what, what I wanted to say is it, it's really interesting to see that these teams, all la almost all of them landed in the El Zahar, but only two players left there. Uh, stay there and, and it means that everyone got scared from each other Yeah, of course I mean you don't really want to lose any of uh, your players early on here and there are strong players on that side There's actually going to be three players from Lieta was a here in Pecado and only Feezy from the lobby of Pandora here uh, Has already secured a rifle and also lobby number 20 here uh, four gentlemen We spoke about them previously are uh, close to Los Leon is here an extremely huge uh, town and a lot of buildings in it meaning there's a lot of players potentially around you as well as of course you don't want to run into aggressive I bet Supruata so early on is they will definitely take the fight if they have the chance here and of course times with that bling bling uh, M4 really like uh, showing off his uh, skins there and Suffolk together with Kush the Murloc There's actually might go eight. head to toe if Sufi gonna see him or hear him, that that that's end for the uh, Quibish. Yeah, so Kyush is uh, in a world of trouble here if he doesn't find a gun soon enough. Suffolk, of course, doesn't have any armor, but uh, little does Kyush know that he's already uh, with a weapon in hand, has managed to find a helmet and an armor. I believe both are a level one there. So uh, Kyush, as you can see, he's like, nope, 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 nope. I'm out, I'm out, I'm bailing. Uh, but uh, also puts him in an awkward position because in essentially in the middle of nowhere and uh, all the closest buildings have already been looted. So Cable Knight, uh, one of the teams that I talked about before as well, being in Minas Generalis here, uh, positioning themselves around this road, understanding there's going to be a lot of cars heading in. You can see Dosti already on the way towards Impala as well as General here, so they might meet, meet in a second as he's on the move, still looking to see if he can find any of these buildings. And they're actually going to meet in a second here, so curious to see what is going to happen. I believe um, General uh, uh, didn't look like he has any sort of weapon, and there's already a player down on the side of Liet was at 80s. That was the Freezy, that was the only person in the game, in, in the Picado, and he gets dropped down with the nade, and that's it for him. I, I, I think that they know that he's the only one and uh, he's gonna play around a little bit with him. <laughs> they're, even, they're even going for that fist kill there. And General, as I was saying, actually has found the kill towards Dostis and finished him off. So that is going to be the first point secured there for Mighty Wolves here. And once again, Ascend just an unlucky start game after game. They don't manage to find any early success here. And General, uh, well, a player that has definitely uh, played for a lot in that situation. Uh, uh, has of course come I out think, on I think I think this drop won't be picked up. We don't even need to check it here. <laughs> yeah, that's that's one uh, uh, another unfortunate uh, scenario here on top of the actual phase one. So uh, the lobby number fifteen actually, Kuna has already said previously they early found cars and they went for that military base, so they'll be coming in with a uh, solid loot. And of course, they are uncontested in that area, meaning that they can clear out and gather literally as many things as humanly possible. And Hannibal is with the swag mobile here. Uh, of course, uh, driving around uh, Los Leones, looking to see if he can spot any players. And King 3D, one of the guys that we previously uh, were talking about, uh, is usually finds himself alone but in these situations. But now he's together with his teammates. That's really surprising to hear from his side. I, I, I hope that it's going to pay up. Yeah, and a uh, question is here for Praise the Law Lord uh, Lobby number 16 is when to move out because I believe uh, when you are landing towards this island, of course, you can spot other lobbies as well. And uh, Garlic Collar should understand that they are in a position where they do have these roads uh, that are uh, towards the outside of this area, meaning that the, the lobby number 16 will be forced to pass them and of course uh, still having relatively low damage for that phase one blue zone means that they can still stay behind and looking to see if mm -hmm. they can actually pick up their first kills in this second game of week three of bsl 
player unknowns battlegrounds and said so now uh run man because there's cars heading and that is also the lobby of division so these players you do not want to run into them and contest them as you can see flabber with a ump trying to deal more damage understanding that the range does not favor his weapon and he will be actually turning around so good job senso they're scaring away those guys and uh, not having an early death on his side so he's going to be on the go here as we can see already a lot of teams have made it into the circle here still another four minutes 30 seconds on the clock and uh general lone man standing there towards water but it's probably where the best place to be right now if you are alone because of course his teammates are still looting and of course probably looting for him as well as uh, well, uh speaking no about real the looting this there's been a really slow game for the early game we have seven minutes in and only two kills if i'm correct and yeah it looks like it's, it's not going to be more, but as I speak about it, Neps find two cars just driving by. That's again the team division somehow finding someone else in the middle of nowhere driving by and getting some shots in their own cars. Also, question uh, nine Neps. I understand that uh, you are in the middle of nowhere. Question is why? Like, did he? I don't know. I didn't notice. Like, did he drop down in that area, or uh, was there like some sort of game plan? Because I cannot really understand from uh, where he. Oh. Oh, so there we go. So there are his teammates around yeah. him because it's on somewhere, the, on the, on the mini map. Around. It looked like he was all alone, and I was just having flashbacks of King 3D uh, plays there from it, week one. It looks like the general are going to keep down those houses where they have right now and wait for his teammates to come by. Or as I spoke about it, he gets yes, in the car we, we and we drives just, away. As soon as we speak, we jinx stuff, and yeah. uh, I'm sure that. Uh, we're going to experience more of that soon here. Others see why Betsu Pua to have positioned themselves on the outskirts of Los Leones, knowing that nobody is in that town. Obviously want to have yeah, yeah, as much as information on as they can. And here now, finally, praise the Lord, Lobby will run into this uh, garlic cola player here who's running across, excuse me, riding across the bridge here. You can see Kiki's uh, is already looking to see if he can drop one of the players from garlic cola here. And Suffolk has managed to find Armand's in the process. That's a crucial play player on the side of Mighty Wolves going down and Armand he will be finished well. off. What, what's interesting, uh, the team praised the Lord, they showed their positions, they fire, fired out, but what they forgot that it was only a one person in a car and right now Garlic Call is going to give them a surprise in the behind. It looks like it. If the, the Bubbles is there and, and some other members of the team uh, praise the Lord and uh, well, you know. Yeah, you don't want to have surprises in the behind. No. no. Okay, but uh, Thier now, speaking of behinds, has managed to find the behinds of uh, Praise the Lord and looking to see if he can nail an AK bullet or two in that. And as I say it, Mister is from Garlic Cola will actually drop already one of the players on the side of uh, Praise the Lord here. So they're in for a rough start here. And same goes for lobby number 12, Pew Pew, who are taking fire currently. Tigan Moss is from Division have ma has managed to find Coffeinus in the process. And Mister is will finish off Patrick the Lord and looking to to add on top there is he will drop down Bullbeats TV and that's already two players down on the side of Praise the Lord as I already said they're basically currently in scissors and need to fight uh, their way out here Kiki's will spot Mr. is in that situation looking to see if he can uh, find and drop him down as the remainder of his team is just falling like flies and they will be out that is going to be Praise the Lord the first team out of the game here in game number two on Miramar Ooh, that's a rough start but what's interesting, they don't have uh, they don't have that much time left, and right now the zone is coming in, and they're left inside there, and they're going to be really late coming in for the new zone. So that means all the house is going to be taken already, and it's going to be really hard to find new ones to, to just make a base in. Yeah, so Favelli from lobby number 24, gentlemen, I already was watching. He has managed to find and with the help of his teammate finish off one of the from silver two land players here. So one more time, a rough start for them as now Tanks looking to see if he can survive this engagement with a four gentlemen and a four gentlemen indeed as they somehow still politely leave him alive. But uh, the card takes a lot of damage in the process here and King 3D is already pushing, seeing if he can knock this player out, understanding that he's going to be on low H. P here and uh, King 3D just barely missing the timing onto Zanks. Of course, he has managed to heal up here, so potentially still might do something. But you can see that these players are cornering in him and uh, still 
Uh, he's gonna be going, actually gonna go down here in the process, so most likely will be quickly finished off here. Uh, Garlic Collar, regardless though, are sitting currently on four kills already as a team. Suffolk did also manage to find a knock towards another uh, team that was, I believe, number 12, Pew Pew, if I'm not mistaken. So Division picking up kills here. And of course, four gentlemen being proactive on this map and uh, something that we've seen them being slightly silent beforehand. So already uh, 19 teams, 66 uh, people remaining. Scary from Kuhn manages to drop, drop and finish off Flabber here, the, the elaborate nade, I must say. And I believe it was like a solid 100 meter toss there. He, I, I think he, he ended the guy before, put him on the knees with the nade, and afterwards they couldn't get there as soon as... Well, they couldn't get there in, in time to pick him up, and that's yeah. why he got the kill score. Okay, so phase number two here as a minute 30 still on the clock before the blue zone moves again. Uh, Fist looking to survive, and that is already, wow, uh, the final person for lobby number 12, Pew Pew, Mad Kid, dies in the zone, meaning that... Uh, was that the final person? No, there's still one guy alive, so uh, apologies here, got slightly confused. Uh, there was a notification yes. saying that the lobby is out, so uh, G, please fix. Okay, thanks. Uh, General now, uh-oh, uh uh-oh, this smells like trouble, the car almost blew up, look at the health that the car has, General run man, one shot towards the car and that thing will explode as long as will you, uh, and you can see there's actually a drop on the road there, it literally. already got picked up by the team Pandora and then leaving the, the soaps out from this, they don't want to fight, they, they yeah. know that, well they picked up the loot and, and, and they were in the middle of nowhere and they got in the cars as soon as they could. Okay, so still two people alive on the side of Mighty Wolves here as they actually started this game with the lineup of three. So they're going to be uh, most likely having a slightly more passive approach. And now uh, Rooks is from lobby number 19, Kartoshka, looking to see if he can drop one of the Sabre players passing by. There is a burning vehicle and uh, Tinkup is looking to see if he can use it as cover, but he will be dropped in the process and will be finished off. That's going to be boy points for Kartoshka here. And who knows, maybe they finally pick up this game and you come next Saturday in a pink mm -hmm. Hello Kitty shirt. Who knows? Who knows? Do you kind of? It, it's all. It's all in the progress. Okay. So speaking about this phase two here, obviously a uh, very tight circle towards this area. A lot of fights. You can see all, most of these teams are avoiding Los Leones because they don't know how many players are there. Of course, here gunshots happening and aggressive. But Supruato in a world of trouble here, as one of their players is already on low HP. One is already dropped down to the ground and Favelli with that M24 in hand can also find a lot of damage essentially they're sitting in the middle of the circle there and still two players from uh, Silver to Lamb team have managed to position themselves also towards the middle so they have good chances of surviving longer here yeah it's been 40 minutes in the game and right now the co is is trying to get some kills happening because it's really unseen that Littest has zero kills in the 14 minutes of the game and, and it's I don't know. Be, have been they looting all this time, or what, what's been happening? With the Pro, kills? I mean, look, the guy has seven energy drinks, so <clears throat> either he's sponsored by them, or they have spent quite a lot of time looting here. As now, figure out five players have picked up probably the wrong opponent they want to face. As Kaborka did manage to find Pandulus in the process, but he will be dropped by Zigzagas. Zigzas. That's Zigas. 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 Okay. You got the ideas now, Cloudtail. One more time with that Car 98 uh, long range sniper rifle. Maybe looking that's to see the if he can equalize. Tactic. They are not leaving their places until one of the uh, teammates has the Car 98. Because they I mean, always have it. Yeah, and Kaworka obviously has managed to get back onto his feet with the help of Kaz there and in the process now as we were talking General did mine a kill, find a kill towards Discount Gaming you can see the remainder of their teammates are positioned around here and Carterly actually in that lighthouse you don't see that often happening here and of course having the M24 uh, is gonna be running uh, around and I am getting so dizzy watching this <laughs> uh, to, to be fair after 3000 hours in this game I didn't know that you can get there you have 3,000 hours in PUBG. Well, unfortunately. <laughs> wow. I don't, I don't have a thousand. I, th I, I think I have something around seven, 800, but not even a thousand right now. But yeah, I've, I've been in that tower and uh, yeah, even in game, it's, it's even worse. Running up that spiral stairway, it's, it's just, it messes with your mind so much that very quickly you don't know where the hell you are. Cloudtail now actually 
Interestingly enough, with the AK not with a sniper rifle, has managed to drop down Armin's from Figaro 5. And there's and only one member left standing, and that's the Cash Money Dollar, who's still trying to survive or get some drop downs for the Lithus, and he gets one, he gets down the Kaz, and after that, he spots the Cloud as well, he gets finish off for the, for the Kaz, and that means... I think the Lit is going to be really angry and try to find yeah, him Yeah, I just I literally was about to say that Lit is not going to be happy about That's it. And they're going to light Cash Money Dollar up as NBS LOL will finish him off. And that is going to be Figaro 5 out of the game. That is going to be the second lobby and very early on as well. So we praised them in the first game. Unfortunately for them in the second one, they are already out. 16, almost 17 minutes on the clock here. Phase number three will begin in about 15 seconds. And it just gets tighter and tighter as these teams from the outside. I need to get in here. Suffolk does find a quick, uh, quick kill towards one of the con players that was Yansa going down. Tomsha will go down in the process there somewhere. So one more time, Ascender players just falling like flies here. And they get ended as well. The do beast get killed and that means this 18 team that got out from this game is Ascender. Uh, bye, have a great time. Well, unfortunately, that's what we see all the time from them. From them, their side, they get dropped out in the, in the first five or first six teams and well yeah. I, ho I hope I hope and actually the, the, the last team that's going to be heading into this uh, phase number three is going to be a uh, litest player so they will be they will be very late for this zone meaning that they should in theory have a very good understanding of where the remaining enemies are going to be and obviously how to position themselves accordingly also interestingly enough aggressive but the proto have yet to find a kill on their side as you can see team number 20 that is for gentleman favelli one more time with that m24 looking to see if he can spot any players and drop them down uh, and there's actually all three from Silver to Land players uh, playing there together, if my eyes are showing correctly. So, and they're very close to Lietuvas Atetis. Once again, a team that is known that they can pick up these frags. I believe they, in week number two, they had something in, in a game where they had like 12, 13 kills, somewhere around that. Mm -hmm. So we know that those guys can fight. And uh, one more time, no organization, a lobby that so far has been relatively silent. Uh, I mean, they've had uh, good streaks in terms of surviving for pro prolonged periods of time, but uh, haven't really found high high kill games and they haven't really secured the victory yet if my memory is not mis fooling me. And that's going to be another crash. Is it or no? Are we frozen? Are we not frozen? What's happening? Hello? Looks like frozen. It's going to be the good old... A uh, few finger combination to make sure that the game is running uh, smoothly here. So uh, we're just gonna wait for the uh, my partner in crime here, nobody to get us back at some point in time. As soon as the computer decides to cooperate, so please, please, thank you, thank you. Patience is key. Hello. Hello. So it's just gonna be another extra minute. But in the meantime, while we are taking this extra minute, please. Feel free to type in hashtag vault or hashtag Samsung in the chat if you actually want to get that Battlefield game. So um, I believe we're going to have more giveaways of the Battlefield game. So it's not going to be the only one, but be the first to pick it up, start playing it today. And hey, enjoy a very nice polished off game in your hands. I don't think it's that buggy, is it? Has any, any, anyone played that game already? Battlefield? Well, I, the new one? I hope it holds better than PUBG in this moment. Oh, it don't want to close. It it don't want to close. <laughs> she no work. She no want to close. We cannot get back into game. So no, no, we, we should no just uh, ask for like a. We, we need to have like a text translation. You know, like you have it in the news of uh, a yeah. sports match, and you just see a few lines of what's happening. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, uh, the game is. <laughs> it's it's not letting me me get out of that. Well. Uh... Well, in the, I mean, we could give the PC a good old wackaroo with the pan. Well, I mean, when we're going to come back, and if we see like three teams alive, I will the be severely where the disappointed. the moment biggest action is happening, well, it would be nice if. And there's just... no pause. On. Is there even a physical option of pausing the server? No. Okay. Nope. Well, that's... So that is unfortunate here. But hey, the more you know, the more surprises are our, our way as uh, we will be looking to find out what's happening here. And uh, we need to customize that model that we see here. Uh, so 
I mean, we're going to go into a small break here. We're going to try quickly fix these issues when we come back. Hopefully, we will be back into the server. One more time, apologies, patience, subscribe, hashtag vote, hashtag Samsung, YMCA or whatever. And uh, we'll be back in one, two, somewhere around that. Tagad pārvaldi un aizraujies pilnīgi jaunā līmenī. Izklaide progresē. Helio! Dude, we back. So, we jumping into this survey and uh, I believe Garlic Call is out of the game. I, that's the news that and we for are gentlemen's hearing. As well. And for gentlemen are out of the game. So, quick adjustments here through the settings just to make sure that we can uh, provide you with that high quality content. And uh, we'll be... Jumping back into map uh, shortly here. So, quick guess, how many people are alive? It's, it's, uh, well, I would say somewhere around... Somewhere around the fatal crash. So, we won't find out just yet. Haha, <laughs> ex de lol. Uh, um... So... How many? How many? How many? How many? How many? Give me a number. I'm gonna say there's going to be... 45. 45. 30, no, that's too many. 38. 38. <laughs> Maybe 20. When we're gonna get back, <laughs> it's gonna be probably... Actually, by 20. the time we get back, there might be only 20 people remaining here, so... Yes. Woo! Uh, yeah, blue hole, please. Well, those, I mean, that, come well, on. Yeah. That only happens with, with this game, right? For with all what? of the games that we cast in the... In a, yeah, I haven't in, had any issues in CSGO, in and I haven't heard anything, and also haven't read anything about uh, League of Legends crashing down here. So, uh, player unknown uh, Battlegrounds match is still in progress. Yay! At least we know that the game is still on and we don't yes. have a surprise winner. So, uh, we'll find out in a moment here. Actually, hmm. while free falling, press F to release the parachute. Oh, early. no way! This lets you fly further and land in less crowded locations. I think that's locations. one of the first things you learn, that you have to open the parachute. Tips and tricks as we are now in one of the final circles here. I don't even know which phase it is, but there are still 13 teams alive and 31 people alive. So both of us were wrong. In the process, it was somewhere in the middle. Now, Kvorka looking to see if he can drop up any of these aggressive events to prove to players. But, surprise, surprise, it's going to be the return favor. Is now NBS Lol needs to go huge. They have already secured seven kills on themselves as he will be healing up with that smoke grenade. But he is being flanked, and that is going to be aggressive events to prove to taking out. Uh, not just yet. NBS Lol going down huge. They are finding three uh, times in that process. But Italiano will finish him off, so that is going to be Littest only in the 13th position. That is going to be a lot of points going down. They still managed to secure 7 kills in the process. Is now Esco 1800. 
uh, from a lobby of no organization previously said they do not make a lot of noise well they're showing up here definitely as they are finding kills towards i believe that was pandora lobby and now cable knights one more time positioned themselves greatly what do you mean players one of them one of their guys is down and little i don't know if they are informed but division players are close by there and spectating the whole uh spectacle essentially as uh actually kartoshka players are still alive Ooh. Ooh, so go, go, kartoshka. Uh, I actually hope they're going to win. We do have the next phase already here on the map that is going to be 50 seconds until it begins and of course as always in the middle of nowhere so there's a road heading through there. Obviously there's going to be a lot of teams looking to see if they can establish themselves towards this hillside on the right hand side of the circle and try and abuse the fact that you can peek over ridges and uh, wow that is close to the zone and RVR guy uh, hiding here away. Does he suspect? I think he might suspect that I there's a player. I think he has some idea that there could be a player inside there, but then as well, the what do you mean team is still alive and, and not checking the behind again. So Miquette has managed uh, from uh, to to eliminate actually no organization by taking down Esco. So that's one more time scores points scored from silver to land and of course placements as now there are still 11 teams alive only 24 people remaining here so still within the last minute we've lost like six seven people on the server augustus now from cable knights looking to see if he can drop any one of these what do you mean players and as i say that division is going to go out of the game and uh, unfortunately for them uh, tigan mopsis was the last man standing there and uh, from was, silver yeah. to land Eliminated just now lobby number 13 that is panda out uh, Pandora excuse me out of the game uh, nine lobbies uh, standing here as RQQE uh, Looking to return the favor towards them and I feel like this might be an aggressive I bet to proto game as lobby number 15 Kun will be out only eight teams remaining 19 people here a lot of action happening a lot of movement here and uh, Cable Knights now have a spotted Kartoshka players and is this the time where Kartoshka players position themselves good enough as they're heading for that circle early on what, what we saw right now is a really fast paced killing streak for every single team that is alive and we have only eight teams alive 90 player 19 players still standing and while i say that only 17 still standing while the what do you mean team takes out from silver to land Yes, and Anabolinus does find kills here towards Pew Pew Lobby. That is going to be them out of the game. Agresiva Betsu Suprota already sitting on seven kills. And one of the division players has kindly let us uh, know that, unfortunately for him, while he was driving, his game crashed and he couldn't get back into the server. So division, just unfortunate news for them and obviously we're not the only ones suffering technical issues here so another six lobbies remaining here as cable knights actually have all people up and running but uh they have only so far well relatively only three kills but of course it looks like they're going for those positions here and uh, keeping tabs on the kartoshka players in that situation so uh from lobby number nine uh, excuse me, that is going to be Kartoshka Lobby out of the game there. Our QQE from uh, Agressiva Betsukoto did manage to steal away one of the kills in that process and now hit us with the car 98, looking to see if he can uh, land that beautiful, juicy headshot towards one well, of the players. Well, we can see that they, they, they found that there are people flanking them and in that single moment, Team what do you mean is just trying to get uh, back in the action and right now they already have four kills that's not so many but they are slaughtering and still surviving while five teams are in this game and only 13 members left as well and the p kills for these teams for both of these lobbies are going yeah. left and right but also aggressive i bet so the players are on the close follow here they're shooting lobby number 22 what do you mean in the back as they also have cable knights in front of them and that nade could actually find a lot of kills in the process here as anabol and this will drop down silo and uh, still a few players on the ground here groovy only man standing for leto was status on the very edge there and uh, lobby number 18 saber still have yet to move as now uh mark is yeah. uh, mark's will actually uh, drop down sick one in the process unfortunately if, so if you run in the in the line with the fire you get dropped down that that's that's how what's the rule what the rules are you, yeah you don't rules, do rules and unfortunately uh, that was probably some sort of miscommunication but aggressive a bit support approaching the game correctly here flanking these players essentially once again putting them in a scissor situation where you just regardless which way do you go there's a sharp edge in front of you and now they're just cleaning house here as they are picking up all these dropped players and 
and that is a lot of kills for them already. 12 kills, that's going to be lobby number 22 out of the game as RQQE finishes the last manning, uh, last standing man for him. He has still another minute on the clock here to pick up his teammates and Karalius now has spotted Groovy. We'll be looking to drop him, so we do have four lobbies remaining here. That is one more time. Liet was yep. at 80s, Saber, Cable Knights and Aggressive, I bet to prove to and Groovy now needs to pick his battle. What, what's, what's really smart from his side, he knew that there was a lot of shots, a lot of drop down players and he went for that but right now he got dropped from behind as well, uh, from the player Wolferino. Yeah, so still Saber, alive from the Saber. Saber finally in the top tr top three here. So uh, Gruy did manage to find a kill uh, towards one of the uh, Lieto, uh, excuse me, aggressive by Betsu Pruoto players as they are still a few people together here. Italiano will be dropped one more time. He's gonna be bleeding out fast. Karalius from this little hut here with the mini just dealing loads He's of damage. He's gonna have the zone. That's a really good cover for him. A little hut. For the late game, it's really, really crucial. So we have three 1v1v1s uh, happening here between uh, Saber R, a top 20 team. What? Well, in the in, in the whole uh, brackets right now, they're in the 20th position. They're in the last team. And right oh. now they're still standing. So they are showing that it's not... It's not the end for them, and I'm really interested to see I how just, the numbers are going to switch. Throw it off. Oh, okay, so they're actually currently in the last position. Obviously, they're going to gain a lot of points here. If they will, if they secure a victory one more time, they will get 500 points plus on top whatever amount of kills they have currently here. And RQQE is looking to move around here quickly. Obviously, trying to abuse these ridges, understanding that these players are going to be close, and essentially they're all in identical situations, apart from the fact that RQQE needs to get into that blue zone quick enough here, as there's still another 15 seconds on the clock for these uh, players and uh, you can see that currently Cable Knights have already secured six kills on their side so good job from them and RQQE with the help of his team have secured already 13 so they really need to win this one to really move up more in the standings as obviously as well as I already said oh. the first plays 500 really points nice. plus it's, 13 it's, kills. Yeah. What I wanted to say it's really nice to see the little guy perform right? Little guy? <laughs> <laughs> Which well, mean? those are the that's the team. Uh, uh, what was that? Uh, Wolfrino for Saber. Yeah, that's uh, correct. Yeah, yeah. So well. <laughs> we're slightly picking on them but of course there is a reason why they are playing in this uh, season here. Obviously, being able to yeah, qualify um, for these there is positions. There's a reason why we are casting. Yes. <laughs> so it it looks like they are all waiting for the zone to, to just collapse and, and and wait for the action. I think. It's gonna be something in a way where Caralio is gonna sit out the battle between the Wolferino and RQQ. Yeah, I so think that's what's gonna happen. RQQ is gonna be moving into the zone, uh, well, together with the blue zone, obviously making sure he's not gonna be uh, pushed out here. And he might run into Wolferino here. He should hear him any second now. That is Wolferino should hear RQQE, who jumps into the zone now, definitely hears him. And he's laying on the ground here. We'll get the drop onto RQQE. That is going to be aggressive by Bitsu Proto with 13 kills, sitting currently in the uh, third position in this game. And now it's a 1v1 between Cable Knights, Karalias versus Lee was uh, excuse me versus saber got mixed up there so wolf reno now probably all of his team is cheering for him but of course like having the fact that he needed to shoot those uh bullets gave away his position slightly and you can see already with that barrel one more time that new weapon he just spotted the player and is looking to see if he can peek towards him and now this is the time when he can advance trying to abuse these ridges as much as he can and Karalius, i believe he yeah, they both know the positions of those players uh well Karalius, do you know uh, Karalios, I believe he might have... Th he, the he grass is know. messing up. Yeah. The he grass is know. messing up his vision. And of course, Wolverino now uh, pushing up close here. This is going to go down in five seconds here as the blue zone will move towards the center of the Wolverino circle. Wolverino has a really good position. He knows that Karalios is going to have to push through the middle. And well, this is any second now. As he's, oh, we're going to see if that spray comes through with the barrel as he instantly Woo! digs him towards the head. And that is going to be Saber picking up the second game here. Good job from them. They still have another four kills on the top. So that's extra 60 points on top of the 500 that they secured. Currently sitting now in this game in the first position. Second place, obviously going towards uh, Lietuvos Atetis, if I'm not mistaken. No, that was already messed up that was cable knights in yeah. second place there we go aggressive i bet support with third liet was a tatus in fourth and the fifth one oh which lobby is that silo that is uh, uh four no uh, where was it it was just there what do you mean yes yeah. 
Of course. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, he was one of the substitute players. Didn't Again, see the name standing out. They're performing so. better and better every single game. Yeah, but uh, oh. as I already said, I'm very happy to see that Saber have finally picked up uh, their first game mm -hmm. in this season here of Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. Of course, once again, points wise, most likely the most amount of points coming from this game is going to go ahead towards aggressive Ibiza Pruoto again, as they had mm -hmm. 13 kills mm -hmm. and sitting in the third position, uh, they're probably going to get something around 300 points or so. Yeah, and this was this was a really messy game from both sides for the players in inside the arena and for us as well but we got to the to the finish of that and well good props to the team saber yeah so team saber uh just the biggest congratulations and of course i hope that uh we're we're just going to see the standings when we come back here uh after our small break and then the next following map that we're going to see is going to be a wrangle one more time for whoever has not typed in hashtag vault in the chat, this is the time to do it. Because mm -hmm. when we come back, we're also going to see if we can quickly give that away. And then afterwards, somewhere in the process still, you'll be able to get a free Battlefield game. Yes. So if you type in hashtag Samsung in the chat. Not the old ones. Not the, the old one. ones, the new ones. Yeah, like imagine getting like the old, old, like <laughs> first one. Or like an old... I think they're throwing them out for free anyway. So. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you just need to... All right. So all those button. hashtags and you're going to see us back in a few minutes after the break. And then we're going to look at all the bigger picture of the points. So see you in a minute. Tagad pārvaldi un aizraujies pilnīgi jaunā līmenī. Izklaide progresē. Helio! to you that the miles in between us will never change the nights we stayed up and felt our pain turn into love a million days wouldn't be enough so I can't stay Say goodbye. Missing you is hard to hide, but baby, it's worth the price. All I wanna do is say, with confidence in your eyes, you've taken off my disguise. I'll never leave that behind. All I wanna do is say, yeah, I'm flying away to the birds in the lake, and it hurts so bad. But I promise to you that the miles in between us will never change. Yeah, yeah. The nights we stayed up, you felt our pain. Turning to love, 
We stayed up and felt our pain yeah, yeah. Turn into love A million days Would be enough So I can't stay yeah, yeah. Cities are rising, rising in front of me. I wanna hide it, want to go back to sleep. I wish I could rewind it. Can I rewind it? We woke up naked, like we're more than friends. We can go through it, can do it all again, like we rewind it. Like we rewind it, and I don't. Don't wanna know, I just wanna feel We let it go, nothing is too wrong, we make it real Don't wanna care, I just live and die I see you there, nothing is too wrong for you to die Oh, we're somewhere else, oh, somewhere else in mine
much in between things we've never seen ways Hello, we are back. Where's your energy, man? I was surprised by that one. It's Welcome only two back games. Again. We only saw two games and we have two more games upcoming from this moment. And right now for all our viewers that are still not written down, hashtag Walt, this is your last chances to do it. Yeah, we'll give you like another 15 seconds, I would say, before we draw out the winner here. So hashtag Walt in chat, you need to be subscribed to the channel to be eligible for the giveaway. And I will remind you one more time that if you win, you need to message us on BSL at BSL.pro just to drop your email and confirm your identity yeah. so we can uh, add you the actual uh, So, five, money. four, three, two, one. That's it. That's it. You're in the chat, you can see the name of the of the winner of today's world giveaway, and you're gonna be sitting at home and eating a wonderful meal just in any moment. While still watching, of course. Yes, the and remaining don't two games. Forget to write us an email to to Bessel at Bessel.pro, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just drop us an email one more time, as I already previously mentioned. But there will be another giveaway today that is going to be the Samsung giveaway. So you need to type in hashtag Samsung if you want to be eligible for the Battlefield giveaway. We did have a clarification beforehand that the name of the game is Battlefield 1, if I understood correctly, that's going it, to be given away. It's so, still uh, debatable. Uh, we'll just, uh, I guess we'll all find out in a moment, uh, but most likely we'll probably give that away before the final game starts here. But the players are already joining the server here, so one more time we're going to see Erangel playing. Uh, one more time, congratulations to Sabre, definitely a team that I Ooh, was expecting yeah. to finally see picked up here, uh, uh, picking up here a game, and of course they're going to be gaining valuable points here. As uh, the standings, do we have the standings already? prepared happy day so we'll jump into standings for a brief moment here just to see how today so far reflect and still in the first position we do have Littest sitting on 4355 points division still in second place with 3490 and mighty wolves with 3305 closely followed by aggressive i bet supreme to have knocked out, out garlic cola yes. out of the top four there currently so 
Good job from them. Of course, they secured the first place in the first game and then afterwards this third place in mm -hmm. the second also combined with a lot of kills here. And uh, kills, kill points wise, as you can see, still on the very top, we do have a litter, so we're sitting with like 1,650 kill points. That's so that a is a lot, a lot of kills but heading their as way. We, as we saw in the previous game, it can happen that they only rack two or three kills per game. It can happen. It those can game, happen. They, those games do happen you, for you, them as you well. You do get those. So currently in the last place, we have Ascenda actually sitting here. Uh, and as we already spoke before, I mean, they've just had unlucky game after unlucky yeah. game. Their start off, their start well, is usually very rough. They usually lo lose a person early on here up until phase two. There is yeah. usually well, already a person You can out. use the strong word unlucky. I would say, well, the points are as they are. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, uh, obviously, it has some amount of skill is required for you to be able to survive the first initial phases there. And accordingly, uh, you need to be prepared of how this game will play out. Curious to see if they will mm -hmm. go for these buildings near school one more time here, as they have so far historically have done on Erangel. Or will they decide to switch it up? I mean, currently, anything goes. I feel like from their side, perhaps, like uh, trying a different mm -hmm. approach, different area of the map will be more beneficial yeah. for them. And, well, I'm... Um, um, well, you have to remember that, like in the seventh and eighth place, there are still two teams battling for the for those kind of positions. Those are the team from silver to land in the eighth position. Yeah. And what do you mean? And one week ago, they were in one of the last positions, and right now they are in the seventh. Yeah. Only in the two weeks matter. They they racked ten more positions in the in the brackets. Yeah. So what do you mean? Definitely have picked up the pace this week. We also saw that already from game one, where they just decided, mm -hmm. okay, we're just going to stick together as a unit and go for these fights, yeah. try to establish their position. And so far, it's working out for them. So I feel like if anything, just pick up the pace slightly even more if you can in certain situations, and you'll be get uh, you'll be able to get to those positions required on the map earlier. Therefore, being able to establish your exactly. position in the following phase. So, uh, I believe the players are, as far as I can see, most of them are on the server, so we'll be launching the server now, one more time heading into a small commercial break, and when we come back, literally after a minute, it is going to be Erangel Game 3, week number 3 of PlayerUnknown's Battlegrounds here, so stay tuned, we'll be back in a sec. Go big, go boom, with guns of boom. Like the sound of big booming 4v4 friend fragging action? We'll fix you up. Go big, go boom with guns of boom. Tagad pārvaldi un aizraujies pilnīgi jaunā līmenī. Izklaide progresē. Helio! Dumba. 
So, oh, excuse me, we're actually back here. So we do have, you can see the flight pathway is a bit of a crazy one. It's going to be uh, heavy towards the military island in general. Of course, the area of Milta Power Milta is going to be taken most likely. Of course, someone's going to go for Gatka Pachinki. I'm sure that there is going to be a lobby that's going to try to get to vehicles and get to George Pool one more time, as we've seen historically being done by Littis, as well as uh, yeah, and And again, in, in, in this kind of early game, it's really crucial to get your cars ready to to get outside from where the enemy could be and try to rack as many loot as you can get for the late game that's gonna happen, I hope, I hope really soon. When we're gonna see the first circle, we're gonna understand what type of game style it's gonna be. And interesting enough, we only have one team going for the military base, two teams to the Neva, Repnoya, and as well, few teams trying to do those long, uh, taken uh, parachute fights. Yeah, so in Nova Repnoia we're going to see Pew Pew as well as four gentlemen battling it out most likely early on as it is an area where uh, clashes can happen very quickly. You can see uh, Favelli actually is going to be heading towards the very far furthest corner uh, of the area there as now jumping into Coffee Inn as we have lost the connection to the server. So hi uh technical issues just knocking on our doors one more time as we are jumping back into this luckily this was at the very beginning of the game and we yeah. didn't miss much here as uh it's still unknown for us what exactly happened in the previous well, game you, to you Littest and a few other teams yeah. in the process you there, never so. know in these kind of games maybe there's a, there's really 40 people there. as as you just <laughs> saw there's an, a great tip uh on the loading screen it says Relax, dude, it's just a game. And uh, I believe we have the first phase here on the map. Uh, as you can see, the blue zone will start to move in four minutes, and there's so much water. This is like, is this, this, this is definitely at least 50% of the blue zone, excuse me, of the phase one is in water meaning that there is going to be a lot of early fights here and this is most likely going to resemble the first game mad kid now looking to see if he can uh, move up here a king 3d of course with that ak is going to be able to deal a lot of damage looking to pre-fire them but he will be dropped good job from mad kid instantly finishing him off that's already going to be the first kill of this game heading towards lobby number 12 pew pew they have managed to find a lot of kills well not a lot but like a good amount of kills during these games just unfortunately that cannot really close it out and now Robotnikas with uh, that weapon is going to be picking towards um, these uh, pew pew players and he's, he's actually one of the teammates going to be going down here so it's going to be fight uh, kills going left and right uh, on either side here mad kid just healing up and with the m4 looking to see did just spot the player and sees him moving out tried to pre-fire that last minnow didn't work out but vivo could be in theory in a world of trouble here as Kofaina is still sitting on sitting on low hp here doesn't even go for that energy drink to at least get some health back robotnikas will heal up here and looking to see if he can provide necessary cover in order for uh, Favelli to move in here and potentially help out and pick up his teammate so Still a man down on either side here, so these guys are definitely, as I already said, in Nova Repnoia in a very early battle here, looking to knock each other out. And I'm just happy to see that this is not Ascend of right now. As you can see, none of their uh, wanting to push here is going to be able to get across the street, but he will be knocked down in the process by Favelli, who was watching for that sort of push. So good job, Favelli. Great mind awareness there, as he will also drop down Favelli now in the process. And there's only one man standing uh, for uh, Pew Pew Lobby there. That is Kofeinus, and he doesn't even have time to heal up here so he's gonna be look he, he will be able to drop down the first player did get a kill in the process but that is going to be it pew pew lobby number 12 is out of the game that is the first team out of this game already and still the blue zone is not even moving mm -hmm. so, well it's it's the first four minutes of the game and we we saw a, a, a really well a common a common action will be having in public games and it was just unfortunate two teams landed in the same place and we saw that one of those came ahead of the other. Yeah, so the next point of action here is going to be in Milta where New River from uh, Silver 2 land team has managed to find a drop towards Praise the Lord players here and little does he know that there are no teammates close by here as far as I can tell, meaning that uh, this player might potentially will go down. It doesn't look like Bobitz with the rest of the gang are going to go and help him out, so they just are, uh, well, New River, uh, excuse me, Crazy just bled out there, so uh, there was no way of him being picked up. As in the process now, Haston with the pistol, comically enough, is looking to drop Kiwish off this bike, uh, trying he to survived, track. He survived, then. There were four, 
four members of the team what do you mean trying to shoot him down from this bi uh, bike and he survived he just went through them yeah and this what do you mean lobby if i'm not mistaken they're in the same area where in the first game aggressive by betsu Pruoto did a hangout for a while here and i wonder did they know if that no organization players are close by these teams are looking to move in early here as now uh kiki's from uh, praise the lord does spot the vehicle uh, that from the garlic cola players probably just looking to see if we can gather enough information of where exactly they're going and which which buildings they will be taking in the process here and also aggressive by betsu Pruoto going for that pachinki drop also have division players nearby and as already previously mentioned, Mighty Wolves together with Litest did go for their classical George Pool approach. In, in this kind of zone, it's really crucial who's going to be the one holding the bridge. And right now it looks like the team Mighty Wolves are going over the bridge and they're going to be really close to the loot that just landed down. But in their bags, there's Italiano from the team Aggressiva Esbutsuprotu. And I think they're going to spawn him out. And if they do that really early in the game... Uh, General just spotted him, so General is going to be looking like to see knows, if he can... Yeah, yeah. Uh, Italiano has slowed down here, but General not really willing to pick up that 1v1 fight. I believe uh, shots fired towards General exactly, so he's going to be drifting away here as Italiano looking to spray him down, and we are looking to be kicked out of the server. I think. Everything froze. Please help. Well, no, yeah. no, not when this is happening. Not like this. This time we came prepared. Okay, so the task manager is our savior of the day and the MVP. I feel like we should have like a task yeah. manager so award. So talking about the zone, what's happening right now, as we can see, what I was t t talking is the bridge control. This yeah. is what's happening. In a, both of the bridges are re camped really soon. We are, what, less than 10 minutes in the game. And right now there are already two teams fighting in the bridge. And I think later on, like in, in next five minutes, there's going to be not one many fights on the ridge side. And there's going to be a lot of boats coming in. And uh, it, it's really crucial to look forward for that yes. and to try spot them out where the enemies are going, where the other and teams of course, are. Understanding that there are going to be a lot of vehicles crossing, you probably want to have something like a DP or an AK in hand that deals a lot of damage towards these vehicles just to mm -hmm. see if they can explode them quick enough. And if you have like at least two players there, that's already a lot of damage dealt towards the vehicles that are going to be crossing over here. So still 19 teams. We can see that there are still 69 people alive here. Uh, the bridge camp is on the way. Uh, four gentlemen still moving out of nowhere if not in that pro in that situation. And Ferret will take down RQQ who has managed to take down in return Esco from the lobby of no organization and that is going to be Arki Kui and Times going down on the side of Aggressiva Betsukuo if I got that information correctly then uh, we did I think there is still one man standing for Aggressiva yes. Betsukuo as once again we are joining back but the it's server. really unfortunate what they had they were in the cars but they tried to stop to finish him up and he replied with the firepower and got them both out of the cars and well shot them dead yeah so uh still 67 people and 19 teams live meaning that aggressive and better are still alive here as uh, that is going to be figure of five players have spotted uh pandora guys moving around in these buggies and actually i hate driving around in a buggy i feel so exposed all the time and you can yeah. see that pandulus has definitely dealt damage towards these players and they just well, need to get it's, as far it's just as possible one good bullet bullet in the head and you are dropped down or if someone's sprays down and gets a lucky shot down to the to the buggy you can spin off and and that's end of your your play style Play yeah, time. so, uh, one more time, praise the Lord players also have positioned themselves in one of these buildings towards Milta, uh, so in between Milta and Milta Power, excuse me, uh, division players still in uh, Pochinki for the most part, apart from Mopsis who is just leaving Ruins area, and still Kuhn players relatively far away, and not even speaking about discount gaming core towards Kameshki. Uh, mm -hmm. Guys, you really need to get a move on here, as now, finally, Ascend players in a very good position, just before that bridge off the left side of Milta and General is going to be moving around here with the uh, looking to see if yeah. he can establish himself somewhere towards this military island. Obviously, free houses, free loot, just making sure if it's anyone has been really there. It's a really smart position from, from his side. Right now, he's going to be covering the edge where all the, sh uh, all the boats are coming in. As we can see from one of the sides, General is going to be the one meeting on the side on the on a, on a beach side that is down down from the military base and, and i actually if he gets there soon enough 
he he gonna get them down. Yeah, and I I do like this uh, position where you are in a circle like this when you are towards the very uh, shoreline, bottom shoreline of uh, the military island, because it's going to take a lot of firepower uh, for any of the other teams to even get to you. Is now Miket will drop down Do Beast, and that is. As I just praised the Santa players, they start falling like flies. There are two people on the ground here. Nerva needs to look and see if he can help out with the, also, of course, Dosties, but they're a solid, solid 100 meters away. Actually, those are 200 meters away, excuse me. I don't know how you can call this unlucky. Again, they find themselves in a position where there are only two players together and the rest of the team is somewhere running in the fields and they get spotted, spotted out as Nerva is right now trying to get... To, trying to not die there and he's getting shot from uh, from really far away but i think they're gonna just survive right now but the zone is coming in uh in 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 few seconds and then we're gonna see the next circle as well we have few teams so still in the zone trying to get back to the new one and well it's what one two three four five six six teams right now are still not in the game they're just having their fun in the blue zone yeah, so uh, LQFTW from Silver to Lion player has managed to finish off Do Beast in the process there. So uh, finally, a more points being scored from Silver to Lion here. So far, they had rough first two games and uh, definitely need to pick the pace up here. As you can also see, Garlic Cola players uh, are actually going to be sticking and staying in the boats, which is also a very viable strategy. I mean, if you can get out in the waters and uh, as long as you have enough fuel, you should be able to get a very, very favorable position afterwards. Uh, General somehow managed managed to recover from that fall that towards his circle. side That's and the, oh the wow so th this is going to get heavy for everyone apart from lobby number nine Lietuvo Satate is sitting at the very highest point that you could possibly be on if, this if, if map. If they hold those grounds they can actually win the end game just by sitting there and waiting out for, for everyone to drop down. Yeah and of course it's going to be extremely hard for anyone to take them down from that position I mean an excellent call coming out from them as now one of the Kartoshka players has managed to find a uh, silo from what do you mean so a team that we previously said uh, thank god have managed to pick up the pace now and uh, latest finding themselves is still in the blue zone here just before the bridge looking to see if he can deal any damage and cloudtail going for once again those long distance shots almost landed that one as well so fist from mighty wolves in a world of trouble as he needs to get away as quickly possible kaz trying to find kills here kiwish has managed to pick up the mk14 and will finish off two players from saber uh, that is excuse me knock them down but wolferino with an instant trade back and uh, will instantly finish him off general now looking to see if he can help out here so they were waiting for those boats and did uh, manage to do so but general understanding he's being outnumbered right now is going to be moving around and looking to see if he can jump back into that vehicle and get away as quickly as possible before it's these so players are down they got two of the players down and they they are gonna get picked back up in the fight and general is just fleeing fleeing away to survive and I, I think they're gonna just find a new position in the new circle and and try to to play through that because general is really far away from his team and Armand, as we can see he's just going back in the game and well that's well that's not a fight to take this really smart play from his side i'm actually very pleased to see garlic colo's position they managed to get to nova Repnoia. now hasten just uh, trying to land some headshots towards more of these kartoshka players that are essentially stuck there right now and hasten really needs to heal up and get move away as you can see the blue zone will be dealing damage he will drop down apple pie and obviously looking to drop down uh, east as and large places in the process there so two uh two kills one more time for lobby what do you mean so that's already i feel like the fact that they lost a player early on this definitely pays for itself as well as uh no organization players have managed to survive long enough here and are have positioned themselves more towards the downside area you can see alchemists with the bunch from a division here a uh, team that hasn't really General, shown up much no, where are you going uh well he's going to be exposing himself with that uh Jeep uh, definitely making a lot of noise and also making sure that these Lietuvo Satetis players know where he is and you can see they're just like packing up and have finally spotted the vehicle so uh, general if he takes it to a turn to the left here and it looks like it's good that's going to be the case uh, one more time ascended players are gonna be the ones that are first going to go down here and general in a world of trouble will be finished off here quickly and that is a crucial player on the side of Mighty Wolves to go down there also don't look like Mighty Wolves have found 
found success here, at least in week number three. And I feel kind of sorry for them because they're definitely on paper a team that could yeah, well, uh, potentially yeah. deal uh, consistently a lot more damage. And we did see that in week one and week two. In On, on a paper, th those playstyles, what they just had, were really good. They, they just went for one... They wanted to take the high ground and, well, there was a, already a, di a different team not letting that happen. And unfortunately for them, that's it. That's it for the general. And right now, there's only two players left. Fist that almost got shot as well. And Armands that is just cruising around somewhere in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, and uh, obviously you can see a lot of the teams are heading, uh, are hanging around uh, close to the shoreline because it's still, it's the, the next circle, the next phase, which we'll find out in a moment, can actually still go either way here, either direction, not necessarily be centric in its nature. So, phase number three on the map for us. So we're just going to quickly check out in a moment and see where these players need to move further as now Zanks already with the M24 Silent has managed to find a, a knock. So, uh, the, all of the action is going to be around the bridge and I love to see this because, yeah. oh my god, there's been so many crazy matches plagued around the mid. Fist now pushing towards, looking to see if he can spot Hasten. Will instantly drop him down, will finish him off, knows 100% there's nobody else close. So that's three points for Mighty Wolves, some sort of retaliation for them as Tuflix has managed to find Pandal is from Figaro 5. NBS Lol looking to see if he can get these division players out of this car as quickly as possible, but they're also taking shots uh, in return. So, well, I, well, it's still the zone on this side of the bridge, and it, it could go either way right now. We don't know which side is going to have the, the final zone. It can happen in the both sides. So it's a 50-50 what they are taking right now, staying in one side or another side and trying to decide which is gonna be. I have a good feeling that the next circle, uh, the next phase is going to be literally in the middle of the bridge. Oh, well, that, that I think I, it, it, it looks like everything is yeah. going in that direction or if it's going to be in water, it's gonna be even close, uh, worse, excuse me now. As a uh, third one, from Garlic Cola, literally just peeking across the street, looking to see if he can uh, understand how many players of uh, the opposing lobby, which is, I believe, four gentlemen are in which building. And NBS LOL will drop down Suffolk here from uh, the lobby of Division. And uh, Kaz also pushing now, trying to flank these players as quickly as possible. We'll spot Alchemist here in the process, I it's think. It's a really good flank from their side. They dropped one of the players and all the team is slowly moving, moving to the position to flank them. And it looks like Supik will live if Alchemist gets the better position to pick him up. But right now, a really smart play from his side. He's trying to scare them away, to let them know that there's, they are to be reckoned with. And actually, Division have yet to pick up a kill here in this game. Obviously, now having the uh, players of Team Littest in front of them. Cloudtail also trying taking the advantage of uh, the situation and pushing towards this building, looking to gain uh, cover as well as, obviously, verticality because uh, this building that he's entered has access towards the roof as well. So he will be able to peek in a more convenient way and looking to see if he can spot out these players. I believe he just spotted mobs is there in that situation and is passing on the information that they're moving on. Also, just spotted Flabber here and uh, of course understanding that uh, they all, these players are towards the very edge here. Kavorka actually will drop Mopsis and uh, Cloudtail will finish him off so uh, that is going to be one division player out of the game. Kaz almost dying here and he's sort of stuck behind this tree in no man's land. I mean there is a small ridge that he can try and play around but he needs to make sure that he's not going to be flanked and they're taking fire from Mighty Wolves from across the side here so those guys of course, one more time, not afraid to take these long distance shots. Alchemist will drop Kaz in the process. Italiano will find kills from Agressiva by Betsu Pruto towards the lobby number 15, which is going to be Kuhn for us here. And still Garlic Cola yet to put up fights, just uh, sitting in their buildings. One more time from Silver to Land, also picking up another knock on their side. So team number 15, uh, Kuhn are out of the game. That is still 16 teams alive, 45 people on the server. So this next circle is going to be a juicy so this one is, this is said this is going to be this side and who holds the bridge that means those teams that are on the other side of the bridge won't be able to come to that easily over and, and get a fight there as in the meanwhile we had the 16 team out and that's team discount gaming well they had an unfortunate game they were traveling through through the blue zone to get back and well 
They never did. They yeah. Down. So Alchemist now having the uh, man advantage on his side has already dropped, uh, I believe, two players on the side of Littest. And you can see the two remainers are pushing towards the water because they didn't under understand that they need to get over. And it's obviously not going to be through the bridge. They'll need to swim over. Most likely there are no means of transportation. And also lobby number seven one more time from Silver to Lawn. And, and they are on the other side, of, oh, other side in a different island and trying to shoot down and the team Littest or trying to disturb them from going over the, over the bridge or over the riverside. And, and there's not a lot of time. I mean, even if you have to swim, there's most likely you might die in the process because you cannot heal up while you swim. So desperate plays will need to be made here. Cloudtail, with the help of his teammate, it looks like they're going to decide to go for that bridge run, which is an act of desperation right now. But there's no real other choice as the blue zone is already on the move. They have division players in the back here and also favorite LV from the side of Kartoshka looking to see what he can it. do. They found a car! They had a car! I don't know how. They, they, they got a car and they're trying to get over. Cloudtail only have a sliver of life left. Oh, wow. Hop, hop, hop down there. And they get in the zone and looks like they're going to have a cover there in those boxes and cars. And so the other teams that will try to cover the bridge, they're going to have a hard time. And also Division still need to get across here. And that is their potential of going down. But LQFTW with the mini will drop Kavorka already in the process. Smoke being deployed uh, from Cloudtail. And uh, now their positions have been given away for sure as that first initial drop might have been Ooh, confusing. Nice position from but side, yeah. They do manage to... Uh, he tries to pick up his teammate in the process here. Of course, Alchemist now with the, his team are on the way. And he, I mean, Cloudtail needs to get uh, his teammate up as quickly as possible. Now also, Garlic Collar player is taking fire towards them. Uh, just a really good, going left yeah, and a right. Really good props with the LQ. LQ being there on the side of the bridge and not letting everyone go this, as free as they intended to. Picking down some of the one of the littlest players and now giving a hard time everyone to stay on the bridge and having a fight because right now from the other side there's Alchem is going with his squad over and trying to get some fight happening there because the zone is moving really slowly but it is there in there behind and moving and in phase. one minute in one minute it's going to be there co covering the grounds just where the cowork and clotail is and under them is another member of uh, it's a different member from the team kartoshka but he's in the water right now so He's not in this fight. And Kavorka spraying down towards this vehicle. Will Alchemist is one of the players will be knocked out. That is going to be Flabber finished off instantly here. Uh, and Alchemist uh, is down as well. Uh, the Cloudtail got him uh, from from the different position. Yeah. Yeah, so another smoke will be deployed here. Cloudtail looking to pick Kavork up one more time. Uh, still, Sufik is uh, alive, but he's under the bridge uh, swimming over. So he is unable to help in any shape way or form and also favorite still current currently sitting just in water staying alive so his mission of being as the last man standing for his lobby needs to survive as long as possible and a lot of times you can see these players uh doing so by staying in water here miket has inevitably finished off two flicks there so as in two flicks did bleed out from that initial knock <coughs> And, and still the LQ is trying to give the hard time for the bridge people and he has one kill but a lot of knocks there and right now Sofik is dead as well he gets shot down by Fizz and it I think yeah Fizz is on other side of the bridge and there's a really hard time for the people there the cloud tail is being shot from two sides for the Fizz from one side who's trying well he's getting some shots from himself as well but the cloud is just hanging there with the sliver of hell he gets dropped down Kavork is trying to 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 reply with a little bit of shots but it's it's not gonna matter the smoke is still there so Kavorka will be able to pick him up and still lit players have five kills on their side now Leto was is dropping a lot of bullets down towards the four gentlemen lobby and you can see that the next following phase which is going to begin very shortly here in 25 seconds will force a lot of fights as now no organizations that players are moving in also garlic call of force to change positions and still aggressive a bit so proto players alive armaments already from mighty wolves with the help of fists are just continuously providing firepower towards this bridge area and one more time LQ will find favorite LV that is going to be their lobby out of the game Kartoshka yeah, one more time for him he was swimming for ages under the bridge and trying not to be not to be seen but LQ was holding the grounds and not moving around and he gets picked out down there but right now I think a really really smart play by the team Littest but yeah they get picked down but how long they're surviving at this bridge by people covering the shots from all of the all the sides they're just being dropped and dropped and dropped and they just pick up every single one of their team 
members, but right now it looks like uh, LQ. Yeah, yeah, it looks like both lobby number seven from Silver to Land are slightly pushing it towards their direction. The LQ actually being currently under the bridge, and uh, Fist together with the help of Armands are closely following the action here, and they should spot LQ in a second as well as uh, the latest players uh, towards the bridge. I believe Armands just just might have spotted uh, LQ they in that situation, and Zanks actually from lobby Garlic Cola will eliminate the final player on the side of Figaro Five, so they are going to be out of the game. No, doesn't look like they find a lot of success so far in this week here another drop towards a little was a tatis uh heading their way so hopefully they'll be able to pick that one up as now mighty wolves players feel uh the stench of blood towards the bridge and looking yep. to move in closer what's really interesting what's what happening the the team from silver to land wanted to push the bridge but for other side there's mighty wolves not allowing that to happen and <laughs> it was just wrecking some kills the, well, they shouldn't happen. I find it ironic that uh, LQ, with the help of his team from Lobby from Silver to Land, were like dropping them so often, and now in return they instantly like lose them, and, and still like, both that, players like that, are alive. Yeah, that's how, how it should happen. Oh, well, Piletail actually spots Miket here in this situation, and will drop him down to low HP. Now the question is, does LQ uh, push or no? And Armands will steal away that kill from them. That is three points on their side. Cloudtail one more time. Uh, um, yeah, he finished up, and right now Kaworka again is dropped down on his knees, and he's gonna get picked up. It looks oh. like it's gonna happen because from any side there's no one to, to shoot them because they are behind the cars. Only the LQ is trying to get some sort of pixel to shoot through, but it, it's not happening for him. And we have the next phase on the map here, which is going to begin in 50 seconds. One more time, Leto Vasatetis players is sitting in a very comfortable position. As another player on the side of, uh, from Silver to Land going down now, LQ oh will drop Kaworka God. once again and, and he still... Gets picked again. Oh, they're actually elim they eliminated from they Silver to Land. They survived the fight. They survived the fight on the bridge from people shooting from all of the sides, people being behind, be below the bridge. And right now, they're, ju they're just going to drop down. YOLO. But uh, I, I think Kavorka was dropped like four or five times just on that bridge alone. So uh, how is the dude still alive? I don't even know. There's it not another challenger approaching. That's the fist trying to get down this legendary team, Littus. And well, it looks like Littus is going around the bridge and they, they know that well, the Mighty Wolves are on that side, so they are really smart trying to pick out where they're going to go. The zone is starting to move, and it looks like it's going to be a bit tricky for them to move back to the new zone, because Fist is not letting it go. Also, notably, Cable Knights have positioned themselves uh, right across uh, lobby number 9, Lieta was at and uh, now Garlic Hollow players just battling it out, still trying to pick up their team, as well as Paharet here, stuck in no man's land towards these uh, rocks, looking to see if he can provide any sort of damage from the top. That is going to finish him off in the process there, as he will be knocked down, actually, in what in air, if I understood that correctly. Yeah, it's so a really interesting play by him. I, I don't know if he should have made that, but well. I mean, right. you have nowhere else to go. So yeah. Pakaret actually will, uh, because he dropped down Voiden previously, uh, knocked him out. Voiden will bleed out, and that is going to be no organization out of the game as Anabolins will find uh, the final kill towards them. That is still aggressive, I bet, to prove the players alive here and smartly sticking around uh, towards He's the edge of the you circle. With the car. Come on, Wolverine. Wolverine is going to be spraying down, and that is going to be Mighty Wolves out of the game here instantly. Two kills coming out from him again saber saber is still surviving it is there are seven teams left they are still standing they got one of the highest play highest teams that we have mighty wolves out from this game what is happening what is happening in Dina Saber uh, definitely off the back of that previous victory most likely feel extremely confident right now and just the, the question is do not overestimate yourself as well be very real about what's happening on the map I believe they also continuously understand that there are still players from Lidist and uh, such as Lieta Vasatate is Garlic Cola alive and they're still going to be battling this one out also I'm not really a fan of where Garlic Cola is currently as a position and uh, Kavorka here just uh, well not necessarily a snake in the grass but a snake by the uh, fence. It's what he has to do. It's what he has so to do. So right now, the team Little Satatis found the garlic hole and put two of... Yeah, they, they dropped down two of the members, finished one off. There's three left and... Uh, one left in this second. The T1 is the one, only one. He yeah, so trying very... to pick some of the members up. But I think this is the moment where Kaworka can show out, out himself and, and try to pick some of the people down there. 
Oh my god, Sponsorius with that fat nade will finish off Garlic Cola. So that is going to be lobby number four out of the game. Still six teams remaining here. Only 15 people. Groovy uh, also, I believe he has taken, uh, had spotted initially some sort of players uh, towards the woods there as uh, Leta was status will be moving out as a unit looking to see if they can establish a position in the new circle as Italiano will find Freezy uh, in the process and steals that kill away uh, from Saber players that was Wolferino I believe who dropped him initially so uh, good job one more time Aggressiva Betsa Pruoto gaining points wherever they can and you can see one more time them engaging in every single fight a lot of the times pays off for them so they have so a good idea of how to approach this we have the next circle it's gonna be well unfortunate one for everyone only the Wolferino is in the middle of that Wolf and also Wolferino is sitting in a, like a, a hole in the ground so he can actually pee out and then hide back and have cover here yeah, Syncop is still struggling we have seen being thrown out and if no one gonna have more nades for them to, to, to get him out from that little hole what he has he's gonna be staying there Okay, so hopefully for Wolfrino he can survive long enough here as Cable Knight's now taking a lot of sh uh, a lot of shots towards their side and that is still on a ball. And from the other side there's a Cloud Tail getting a good position to try and pick someone out. He's getting the intel, he understands that there's no one, he gets... What? He gets one tapped? It's what is this? What am I watching? Is this a public game? Why are the kills so easy? Cloud Tail with two one taps will drop these players now because the zone is pushing. Corrales is getting out of the game and that Cloud Tail just... What are these players doing? And Kaworka gets down. It looks like Kaworka is getting out from the game. His key got picked up so many times and Cloud Tail's... <laughs> to understand Cloud where, Tail. where he can find the region, it looks like it's gonna be end of him, but yeah, that, there it is. He I mean, they out forced the out the best possible outcome they could do in that situation as far as I'm concerned, so that is going to be Littest out of the game, offering the opportunity for one of these four last remaining teams to pick it up, so that is going to be Agresiva, Betsu Pruoto, Saber, and Sandis from lobby number 13 is going to eliminate Saber player, but he will instantly go down to uh, Lieta Wasatetis, so we have only Lieta Wasatetis and Agresiva, Betsu Pruoto remain here a uh, battle between uh, three uh, actually four all four players on the side of Leto Vosatetis are still alive and they know the positions for Agresiva Bet Supruoto here they're gonna be using everything they possibly can One because they are cornered nade in nade could change everything if they have any nades this is the moment to throw them out because they are being pushed and they have to find the spot to, to try to fight and Oh, Italian almost got dropped there in the process of Zanabolius. will drop down Sponsorius, and if this skill, skill goes through, doesn't go in time, and that is going to be the Groza that will finish off Aggressive by Betsu Pruoto. And finally, Lieta was a Tatis are going to be the winners of game number three uh, here on uh, Erango. A really interesting interesting game. What, what One of the biggest... Uh, members that made this an interesting game was the cloud tail together with the kaworka on the bridge surviving from every single angle a good problem the litters and we can understand now why they are, why they are in the I mean, look, number they're, one they're, position in the in the big bracket yeah so they're still currently in fifth position but they secured like 12 kills speaking of lit was the tatis who have secured a victory this week they needed here. this one they really needed this victory obviously 500 points and then mm -hmm. on top of things they still have like another kills on top uh, nine kills on top there. So mm -hmm. that is extra points gained on their side. Second place, Agresti by Betsu Pruoto performing extremely well, winning one game, being in the third place in the second game, and then afterwards uh, having uh, the second position in the we third didn't game. We did see a lot of from their game play style of this, of this particular game, but I think they just went to the zone, played it out, as every single game what they're doing right now and in, in in yeah. this week and last week as well. Yeah, so week showed. one, their issue was that they didn't really play it positionally, they were just picking mm -hmm. fights now fights excuse me so now they have uh, combined both of those strategies together and uh, definitely it has paid off for them yeah in the third place we have the team pandora that we haven't seen them a lot of uh, in in the top five uh, no. positions and well they showed that you can you can get the third place as well really easily uh, without any pr um, stress and all that and in the fourth place we have the winners of the last game if i'm correct right yes the saber. Team saber they got the fourth position and it could be possible that they could win this as well but un unfortunate circumstances what they had and well it's good for them as well and in the fifth 
position, as we as we mentioned, latest shown of why they are in the number one position. As, as in I the already brackets. said, Kavorka. I mean, he was just dropped like four or five times on that bridge alone. They had no armor helmets left out of mm -hmm. the amount of shots, and still being on that bridge, they managed to get out, uh, get rid of from silver to land. So that was like a two versus one by four. One. They... And as soon as they dropped them down, they instantly were also mm -hmm. able to finish them off in a second. So there was no question about it. They also exactly. understood that them being in a position where they most likely will not win this game need to gain as many points as they possibly can it's really interesting to see from their side that they took the fights only when they knew that they can win them they yeah. weren't shooting around they were waiting for for them to have a good cover for them to understand where the enemies are and then peek out shoot and they kill one by one the team from silver to land okay so overall a very spicy game number three coming out here of course one more time what the hell are those flight paths and the circles are just wicked today it so makes a juicy game for <laughs> us <laughs> it makes a juicy game for us and it is going to be most likely also our final the next following game that we're going to see after a short break here that is going to be played on miramar i will remind you one more time that before we start the final game we're just gonna have a brief look at the standings one more time hopefully if not we'll do that after the game doesn't matter but the most most important part is the giveaway so one more time type in hashtag samsung in the chat samsung have kindly provided us with a battlefield game that we can play out and give away for free and so all you need to be do, maybe playing it together yeah well. maybe maybe you'll even get to play it today so, yeah. so let's see each other after a little break and then we're gonna do the giveaway and all the other things that we have to do on this side and you on that side have a good beverage and see you in a second Tagad pārvaldi un aizraujies pilnīgi jaunā līmenī. Izklaidi progresē. Helio! Yeah. 
saying what it's seen, girl. You're my little thing, girl. Knocking at your door, I want the candy Halloween, girl. It was nice to eat you. I mean, it's nice to meet you. I might twist my words, say too much and get a sweet tooth. Wait, mama said you gotta watch your hell now. Hey, things are getting heated, watch your milk now. Wait, baby, tell me what you need right now. Come so clear to me that all treasures buried, it's all in your head. Just try to hear me out. They've got you locked up and out.
<laughs> Welcome back here. So we're yes. going to be heading into the fourth yes. game shortly here as uh, we will now play out in about 15 seconds. One more time. You have 15 seconds to type in hashtag Samsung in the chat in order to for you to be eligible for the giveaway for the free game of Battlefield yeah. kindly provided by Samsung for us here. And I will remind you one more time. You do need to be a subscriber to the YouTube channel to make sure that you are eligible mm -hmm. for the giveaway. Now, so, if my timing is correct, there should be five. another five, four, and uh, three, two, one, and you should have the winner in chat. And please, please message us on bsl at bsl.pro. The message should be in chat one more time for the email address, just to make sure that we can verify your identity. Now, speaking about today's game so Ooh, far. Ooh, spicy, man. Action-packed, definitely. So how about we have a look uh, at the standings here and see where we stand after these three matches now in week three already. 
So, currently still in the first position. Team Littest definitely with their action. No now surprises the, there. No surprises there. And of course, one more time, they managed to secure a lot of the kills here, even in the situation where mm -hmm. it looks like it's extremely unfavorable for them in this final match that we just uh, saw yeah, being I, on I, the bridge. Yeah, I saw questions in the previous week. Why they are in the first place? What, what, what is that special for them? How did, they, how did that happen? And no, we had a chance to see how, how they secured the first place there. Exactly, and off the very successful plays so far for today, uh, for the team of Aggressive Ibetsu Pruoto, they are currently in second place with 3,660 points, mm -hmm. very closely followed by Still Division, who are currently being dropped down to third position with 3550 points mighty wolves also here still in the top four with 3480 points because yeah. in that last game now they did manage to pick and up a few kills there between the, the the second third and fourth place there's only less than 200 point difference so it yeah. all changes after every single game that we have and of course, after this match that we're going to see in a brief moment here, also you can see that Lieta Vasatetis are currently in fifth position, so they have definitely moved up mm -hmm. here. And actually, Garlic Cola, which uh, th at the start of this day were, currently, were still in fourth position, are now currently sixth. Mm -hmm. And on top of things, still, what do you mean? In the seventh position? What They're do showing you mean? That, showing up yeah. from the bottom, now we're here uh, at the top almost. Yeah. Uh, also in the seventh position and a super super shout out for Saber mm -hmm. who essentially from the last position have managed now to secure the 11th spot so that's it's a huge real, jump it's, for it's them. a really interesting base of, of, of changes that we have in here and I remember in the first week and the second week I was announcing when they were dropping down and now I'm announcing when they're getting kills and securing themselves in the top five top six situations it's a really lovely uh, side from my side yeah, and of course you can still that even in here in this tablet between the ninth, uh, well, excuse me, that's eighth and fourteenth position, the point difference is essentially only three hundred well, points. less than three hundred. It's two hundred ninety points between yeah. those places. It all changes after every single game, and I think that's a really good um, like motivation for the all teams to keep on playing, to not feel. Uh, that they are in the last positions because it all changes as we can just see the saber we're in the last position and now up there yeah uh four figure of five currently sitting in the 17th position uh, i feel like they had more success last week doesn't look like they've managed to find their rhythm this week just yet and accordingly unfortunately for them being in the position they are and one more time for ascenda just just a hailstorm of unfortunateness. The, the points that they have right now is equivalent to the the ones that Litas got in one single game. Yeah, essentially. So, uh, Ascenda guys, please, please, let's just pick it up and make sure you don't lose those early fights because dying in phase one, phase two Play definitely as a team. will not uh, leave you with anything. So, uh, I believe we have the server ready, so we're going to be launching it in a moment here, which does mean, as you very well know, that this is going to be Finally, one more time, Miramar being played here. One more time, a lot of verticality, bumps and hills and zooms and long shots and so on and such. We'll pick up the pans, go in a small break, and when we come back, it's going to be game four of week number three.
darbojas kā piens vesels. Tagad pārvaldi un aizraujies pilnīgi jaunā līmenī. Izklaide progresē. Helio! Sāp, all you lovely people. So, we are now back in game number four. As you should be seeing on your screens, we finally have what uh, most of the players consider to be a very decent flight path. Yes. So, diagonally across the map means an even spread. So, this is probably going to start off at a very easy pace here on Miramar and of course one more time interested to see where these teams are going to be heading so you can see that the plane is dropping numbers and those are actually people see super logic making it easy for everyone here and of course a complete cringe well, fest, cringe fest it's, from it's my it's really side. interesting to see that in the lower side we only have around five teams dropping out and all the others going to be somewhere in the middle zone and then afterwards somewhere around the lock Cobrera and then going to El Paso, probably to Alcanta and all the other places like Alzara, water treatment. It, it all depends on the cars that they're going to get, as usual, and the flight paths that they're going to use in this particular game. In Los Leones, we have three teams right now. They're going to drop down there and it's going to be a fast clash for them. We have in the Porto Par... Par whatever that Paraiso. is, uh, we have the team Pandora, they're going to be a lonely guys there. And in uh, What Do You Mean, we have an Impala, only there, just... Chilling out, probably. Chill. And yeah, so finally we have the team settling in here. Actually, lobby number 12 uh, going for that Hacienda del Patron area. And already first shots being laid here as Madkin will drop Wolf Reno, a guy that was extremely su successful in the last game here. And Kofainus will be dropped by Team Kupi. So you have Saber fighting it out with Pew Pew here in Hacienda del Patron, same as you would see in a public game. Uh, first kills already coming through here as uh, Wolf Reno is bleeding out desperately. And he will be finished off here by Madkin. So so that is going to be the first kill heading his way as he will actually drop Tsinkubis as well in the process. And that is going to be another kill for them very early on here. Ooh. Picking up everything these, guy ma these guys managed to loot in the process. So only Warden and Senso remaining here for Saber, meaning that it, they will need to hide as much That's as they can. That's a really unfortunate start of the game for one of our biggest upcoming members will be had now, Saber. And also the circle. So, uh, wow. Phase one. Obviously, there's going to be a lot of movement towards the left-hand side of the map here. And I'm curious to see if anyone will uh, try and uh, position themselves towards this very left-hand side, uh, that high, high cliff that you have. Because, I mean, I've, we've played also a few games where the game finishes there. And it's also always very interesting in uh, terms of which positions you pick because there is like a ridge just before the uh, the actual ledge over there but now third one we'll find warming from lobby number 15 that is a pandora player going down and garlic cola also now able to secure these early kills in san martin you can see the, the players of latest positioning mm -hmm. themselves and Kartoshka. Yeah, what's really interesting, what we can see from the team Mighty Wolves, they are distributed around the Picado in the little houses, what, what they are, and like the fest is somewhere around in the middle of nowhere, all the other players as well. And they're just looting the little houses, and it looks like it's a good good way to get a fast loot in the early, early phase of the game. Yeah, so a viable strategy, but now favorite LV might run into a He's surprise there. here. I don't think he knows that Qish is there, as it doesn't look like he is interested in the enemy player as more as looting. And Qish should hear the player anytime soon, is obviously looting himself as well. And in theory, this AK should come out on top above the mp9 uh, ump excuse me i think yeah. that is and uh qish needs to be careful here so it doesn't get surprised i believe favorite might hear him in a second here he's running away he's actually running away so he's going to be in the open qish starting up that motorbike will give away his position the question is does favorite turn around uh for it as uh he will be finally on the move here and uh, lost connection so i mean this is going to become a tradition i feel like we're going to make t-shirts saying dun, dun, lost dun, dun, connection dun, dun. and uh jumping back into this one more time luckily 
we do have. I uh, hope we didn't didn't miss that encounter where we just had. I I am really interested to see what what happens in that little compound. I mean, they're they gonna shoot each other or not? Probably Kiwish is just gonna drive away with that bike as quickly as possible from yeah, there. Yeah, now yeah, so we're yeah. gonna be jumping back uh, towards that was yeah lobby number eight. There we go. So Kiwish has made his grand escape. Still nobody else has died. Still seventy two people alive and all lobbies on the server. So right now what we can see slowly all the teams are moving to the position of the zone where we're gonna have. Uh, the teams that got down and lost Leonis, they haven't had a single fight there, they haven't lost the members there, and it looks like it's just gonna go down like that. Or, Murti is going down in the hands of the king, let's see what it, how it looks like. Yeah, so king one more time doesn't have any teammates near him, Murtmurt just spotted him, and I believe king also just noticed uh, Murtmurt's mm -hmm. position. As you can see, he's already checking, and in instantly you can see king is deciding to fall back here, rightly so. He doesn't have any teammates nearby that will be able to help out if he goes down here, so he's just gonna be positioning himself slightly further back yeah, looks as like the found king is a vehicle. Getting back in the car and driving away, he doesn't want any kind of business down there. And that also should be given information for Favelli there that's slightly lower uh, the, to also move away that there are other players or lobbies nearby. Now still Ascenda uh, players sitting in Pecado uh, position themselves here and also the lobby of Trace the Lord are actually quite widely spread on the map here. Now Zinks uh, definitely hears this vehicle. Yeah, the Will figure he... 05, I think they have no idea about him. Oh my god, this can go huge for him as he's spraying towards the car but doesn't manage to get any drops so somehow miraculously figure 05 players... Did he actually hit someone with that? Uh... Oh, that's the new gun that you said that is really precise, right? I'm not saying it's precise, I'm just saying I don't understand what these players are complaining about as I feel like it's a lot more viable than they, the comments yeah. we received well, about it. it looks like in this moment would be better, as you said, just to click slowly to try and just get, get a single the shot. driver out of the car yep he was trying to go for that huge spray of course so, uh the, his decision but now uh four gentlemen in the world of trouble here as you have mighty wolves players around you armin's already spraying towards the vehicle looking to see if you will be able to add more damage on top here with that silenced mini and i believe he is aware of the second car as well so looking to see if he can knock any of these players out but unfortunately it's not going to be playing out in his favor same goes for general both not finding any uh, knocks just yet so Kiwish is actually on the way back here towards his teammates as well and New River from uh, Silver to Land is dangerously close to Robotnik as uh, one of the four gentlemen players. So New River has established himself in this building here and I don't think he's going to be moving out. Also of course the fact that uh, the remainder of his teammates can uh, is theoretically join him at any point in time and have cov cover is uh, good news for him. Fisk here will greet the second vehicle. Actually he's gonna run into him and he's looking to spray him down but Robotnikus will come out on top and he should be finishing off Fisk here in a quick fashion. That is going to be the case. He will quickly heal up and he's unfortunate, also... Unfortunate way how to play this through. He wanted to get him down really fast, but what happened? He got he got killed. And he doesn't really have any fast. bandages or first aids here, so he's just gonna be using the energy drinks uh, and painkillers provided. And try and get some loot from 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 his uh, from his kill. Try to get some heals out of that. And I think he's trying to loot us. And the general get, gets a really good shot there. And this looks like the Robotnik is gonna be down. And well, that's it for him. Yeah, King 3D also was dropped by New River in that situation. So out of four gentlemen players, only two are now on foot here as uh, no organization are looking to see if they can drop any of the what do you mean players in this situation. Zanks has already managed to find one of the figure of five players. Ascend also finding one of the Cable Knights guys and <laughs> I'll happy sight to behold to see that uh, Kartoshka players have found one from Saber. So a few more people going down here also Ascend adding on top with another knock on the side of Cable Knight. So you can see that they definitely established themselves in Picado here not going to be uh, letting anyone close. Vivo going for a very long range shot here and looking to see at least if he can mess up the vehicle so much so that these players will need to travel on foot in the open there. Kiwish also finds another kill in the process. Uh, lobby number 14, figure of five, have uh, positioned themselves in these... Uh, what's the name? I kind of Craters. forgot. Craters. Yeah, there we go. Thank you. 
Well, it's, it's, it's a place where I really dislike to be at because you are in the middle of a big bowl and if you get in some sort of houses in there, there's no way you're getting out if there is a team waiting for you to cross those grounds. Yeah, so a uh, bit of like a, uh, as we would say, a uh, tree with two ends. Yep. Like a stick with two ends. It's kind of good and kind of bad at the same time. But Agressiva bets to the players now moving in here into the zone. <laughs> Senso also from Saber in a world of trouble. And uh, he will need to see if he can somehow miraculously survive. This is uh, LQ from Silver 2 Lan. Uh, guy is looking to see if he can find any drops here. And also, praise the Lord, in a firefight with... Uh, none other than Littest here, MBS Lol already dropping one of the players here, looking to see if he can quickly finish him off, taking his time, and that is going to be Bullbeats TV out of the game for, uh, praise the lord, still another three people remaining here, and with the SKAs, Patrick looking to see if he can find any He's headshots, not but... He's taking shots, he, he didn't shoot a single bullet from those windows, and he had a perfect shot to try to get someone from the team Littest down, but he didn't shoot, he was, I, I don't know why. I mean, yeah, it's kind of hard to understand. Out, so that means the team Saber that we were talking so good about is out. And the first team to get eliminated exactly. in the last ga game of the week three of PUBG in the BSL. So still, a uh, solid effort coming out from them. Patrick now with the SKS looking to see if he can uh, land any sort of headshots as Armands has actually found times for Magrassi by Betsuproto. That's a good pickup on his side here as uh, the player will be bleeding out unless his teammates will be able to approach him closer there. So, bit chaotic here currently as the phase uh, one is closing off here. So soon enough, we'll have the next circle. Garlic Call also in a very decent position. I like where they are and they are uh, each of them are holding a compound not letting anyone close here eucalypt uh, will need to find an approach of how to pick up one of his teammates that is the lobby of discount gaming and cartley as well i mean he's just staying alive here but also making it difficult for his teammates to approach him armands uh, uh, excuse me times from aggressive but pro did just bleed out so armands did secure uh, that pickup so mighty wolves have secured also kill points here in this game now and still, Mighty was, yeah. uh, oh. have, excuse me, from Silver to Land in that long distance firefight uh, with them, just looking to see if they can add any damage on top here. What I wanted to say is that in this game right now, in those 11 minutes that we had, we had a lot of fights in the long range that succeeded for the teams that took them. In the close range, it, it, it's it, we had one or two fights, and right now all the other kills are made in the longer distance, and, well, it's really nice to see that people are taking the, the scopes and trying to get some kills through that kind of fashion. Yeah, and as you can see, there's still 60 people on the server alive here. And as I say, that Garlic Column Mysteries does manage to find two kills towards Figaro 5 players. So one more time, Figaro 5 this week. Unfortunately, things just don't seem going their way as there will be still another 58 people on the server here. Cash Money Dollar in a situation of one versus two against Garlic Colo players known to be dangerous, he especially in know. pairs. He knows that there's a team behind there, but he doesn't know that they know don't know about him this was the moment to push and try to get someone down of the team garlic cola but he's not taking that kind of action he's thinking that they're gonna push him well of what course. actually can happen in the second round i think well, his mission is to stay alive, of course, as long as possible. He understands his teammates are being looted here, so I wish he had, like, something, a flashbang he could throw over that building and then push out. Well, yeah, you're, you're talking about Counter-Strike tactics. This is PUBG, all right? We but have there's... seen only one flashbang in this whole tournament. That was used by Alchemist when yes. he was pushed, pushed by two players in that situation I, I last remember. week. I remember. That was a good one. Yeah, so, uh, looks like... So, the second circle, what we have right now is a really messy one. It's in the middle of, well, it's kind of nowhere. It's the hills that's going to be the battling for. Yeah, so, uh, right now, uh, that is Team Division uh, finding it out with Garlic Cola players. Also, Kaz in the process finds one, finds one guy from uh, the lobby of four gentlemen, and that is... Uh, going to be still 57 people alive here. What do you mean players establish themselves in these hills in a building and obviously have a bird's eye view of a lot of what's happening on here. Execute the stand-in from Silver to Lan. Uh, will find a drop for his team. So that is going to be good news. That is favorite LB from the lobby of Kartoshka. Well, we st it looks like every single team is almost in the middle of the circle and only few members are around it and just getting back in the blue zone like here we have still 
a member sitting the, still the cash money dollars waiting for the other team to move out he gets them what he gets one down the the p5 is it, it, he dropped him down and right now he's trying to find the angle to to get the another member but it's the blue zone that's gonna eat down the mister it looks like it yeah so he, that, he's just damaging yeah, the player just to make sure it. that he's going to uh be uh, forced to bleed out here in this situation. He still has uh, kits, uh, healing kits available. Uh, so Mystery is also dropped down on the ground here. Little does Cash Money Dollar know that uh, there is no team member uh, nearby for Garlic Cola here. So they have suffered losses on their side, and definitely those are considered great ones. Especially this yeah, is the last fourth I, game. I was I was talking smack about his play sitting behind Dan House, but actually he got them in the right position where he wanted them to be when. And they jumped on a bike when one got in the car and they didn't know about him and he got a really really good 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 way to eliminate two of the members of that team it looks like praise the lord have gathered a lot of information from their side you can see that previously uh kiki's there i was zoomed in and understanding where these players are going to be now still cash money dollar reluctant to move out but he will have a lot of loot available for him to pick up and also a bike uh that you can move around with quickly here as still another 18 lobbies remaining here the next phase is bound to begin and you can see that the circle will force these players one more time closer to this hillside and currently division in a very good position here already dropping shots onto lobby number 17 that is discount gaming unfortunately don't get any knocks yet but instantly will fall back to this upper uh, houses. Yeah, what, I, what I really enjoyed in this play, they waited for the last second for the car to stop and then they all started to fire up to that place and that's a really good team play from the team division that we are lacking in this uh, in this week from their side. I, I really hope that it's gonna end well for them as well. But yeah, we, we haven't seen them like uh, performing such as uh, the week before where they were constantly in the top five if I'm not mistaken in the last fights here as now Cloudtail actually will spot out a general in the open they're all in the relative open just behind that haystack and the remainder of Mighty Wolves players are actually approaching him so uh, this as long as general can serve as a good enough distraction theoretically Mighty Wolves players could uh, push up and that is yeah. exactly what they're trying to do here unfortunately this is, uh, this is, yeah uh, what I wanted to say is that this is a really crucial fight for them to have and Ooh. yeah huge gets one of them down and these are the top teams fighting for the points in this moment if the team mighty wolves decide to push it they are in a really good upper hand because right now there's two players up there up there behind that little uh, rock and the other players already moved out so that means they're left there to fight this battle and we'll see how it goes yeah, so Cloudtail healing up here, Kaworka quickly understanding that they're going to be pushed here in this situation. And the nade would combine with the spray down means that Mighty Wolves will eliminate two players on the side of Litest here. And notably so, uh, Cloudtail, who is a very, I would say, a long-range expert at, by the by the sides of things today. Uh, and obviously a very crucial player to have on your side when you're playing on Miramar here. He's losing so fast. So, so uh, well, in the 17th minute... Ooh, it's gonna be really crucial for the team litters, but we know what they can do even if they are left alone or with two members left. We'll, we'll see how it goes out and how they're gonna play it. So now from Silver to Land, need to battle it out with no organization players who are very close by here. Obviously, Execute will just now be dropped by Packeret here with that mini, and uh, Miket either needs to go huge or save his teammate. Otherwise, it's just not going to end well for them. I mean, they're in a no man's land. Sufik will find kills towards lobby number 17. Lobby number 12 was just eliminated. That is Pew Pew out of the game. Lobby number 17, Discount Gaming suffering losses on their side. But Alchemist has been dropped in return here. Before that, he did manage to sneak in another kill. And aggressive, I bet so Proto players uh, are being approached by Mighty Wolves here. And uh, now uh, Mopsis oh, oh, is oh, actually pushing oh. up. Didn't manage to pick up his teammate there. So Suffolk will pick him up. Uh, one more time, a lot of loot available, but unfortunately for them, Suffolk is out of the game and Alchemists will be back and running around shortly here as the next phase, excuse me, as the current phase is closing out here, team number 21, that is Ascenda, uh, we're approaching and trying to backstab Kartoshka players as we are frozen on the screen. Uh, well, before that, what we saw was the team division having a really great fight. They only lost one member there, but they took the whole team of the Discount Gaming out from this yeah. final game of this week. 
Yeah, so obviously that's a lot of points robbed for them and one more time kill points gained for this side of uh, Discount Gaming if, Excuse me, not Discount Gaming either You, you, Ex you, you messed uh, me up with division. that Division uh, Division, there yeah. we go, yeah So Division finally picking up valuable points Of course, currently sitting in the second position They do need, mm -hmm. uh, excuse me, third now uh, as Aggressive by Betsu Pruot are currently in second position So both of these teams need to find as many kills as possibly can yeah. And score as and high as they can and in as this well, game I think this is going to be a really crucial game for the Letters If there are only two members left they, I think they're going to play a bit more safety, safely And that means... Uh, the, the points can shift. In a Theoretically, the yes, but from another perspective, we're back, like... we're back, we're back. So what did we miss? Okay, okay, well, this is the next following phase here. You can see that latest Mighty Wolves, Aggressive, Betsu, Pruotu, Lietuvasa, Tatis, these lobbies are already in this circle, in the new zone, meaning that they will not be moving around much here, as now uh, Garlic Cola players will be uh, pushed here by, praise the Lord, guys. And uh, they definitely are well informed of the fact, but 30 will not down Patrick and will in Instantly finish him off. Great job coming out from him as only two of them are remaining. Zengs will be dropped down onto the ground here, meaning that only Terry is left standing. He needs to run, understanding that the remainder of Praise the Lord players are closing in here quickly. Only 35 people alive, but another still 15 teams uh, remaining. So uh, all sides essentially have suffered losses apart from, as you can see, Rieta was at eight, is still sitting on four players, desperately trying to drop Silo. He will go down. That is one of the what do you mean players going out of the game as we see speak and uh, you can see also on the left hand corner uh, the division players are entering the zone just now as uh, still Kuhn players are battling it out somewhere in the fields there and uh, Anabolis did manage to find one of them what's pretty interesting to see there's few teams battling one team that is uh, those are the team uh, no organization together with a Kun is trying to defeat the the aggressivas but supporto yeah, so a difficult fight to have as uh, actually Pandora was just knocked out uh, of this final game here. So still another 14 lobbies remaining. You can see Kun player RVR guy um, is going to be smoking himself off. But Kilwish with the car 98 will find the kill onto him. And that is going to be Kun out of the game here as Miket will finish off the remainder of his teammate. And actually finds more kills also towards uh, from, uh, excuse me, for uh, Kartoshka. And the last member of the garlic color street still trying to survive this this neverable never ending battle in, in 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 the middle of the mountains he's trying to run and every single one of those people that is around him trying to shoot him down in this single moment and now figure of five are also out of the building as they have been just eliminated and, uh, and lobby number seven from silver to land is out as well one more time it was crucial crucial for them to find as much points as they can in this game Unfortunately, it didn't look like it worked out for them in the end here. Now, uh, Leto was a is in a position where uh, if they peek over this ledge here in a moment, they might find crazy. But he was going to find the upper hand here in this situation. We'll be able to drop Sponsorius instantly. We'll finish him off as obviously understanding he's on low HP. He'll be knocked down with the SLR and that is going to be lobby number 11. Also in the process, Cable Knight's out of the game here as uh, Leto was a is just causing a lot of havoc here. And Paharet uh, from no organization has managed to find a knock on the side of aggressive I bet Supruto. so only 10 teams remaining 22 people alive in the last two minutes we have lost like 10 11 people it's 22 minutes and only 10 teams left 22 people alive just five minutes ago we had twice that right yeah and, and right now we can see a, a, a little bit of fight between the between the mighty wolves and aggressive but Supruto. and they dropped few of the members of the aggressive but Supruto, and they picked them all up and there's no casualties in this kind of fight only somewhere in the distance yeah and so still nbs is taking some kills they got the next zone as well they're standing there and it looks like it's, it's a really well Lucky, I don't like that word, but it, it's a really tactical wise well played by them. They took the grounds They're holding them got some kills out of that as well Well only four in this moment, but it looks like they have a really good grounds and if they're gonna hold those It's it's gonna be playing really well in their hands yeah, so they're going to be playing uh, obviously still from that position they were in in the process while you were talking What do you mean lobby was knocked out of the game here? Uh, of course mighty was an aggressive I bet support are not going to be moving uh, Anywhere anytime soon and not at least until the next phase is now Kartoshka players need to find their place on kills. the map And they have seven kills finally lots of kills coming in through for them And I mean I'm still kind of praying that they somehow pick up this game uh, Just to see that hello kitty shirt out uh, one more time is now 
now Moot Mort hiding uh, behind. And we see this smart buggy place. We last we uh, in the previous weeks we have seen this before. And if he holds that ground, he can surprise them. Oh, it looks but... like it's gonna happen as well. Yeah, I believe he. Yeah, he definitely knows that he is being. Uh, players are moving in his direction. As now, NBS low are trying to deal damage towards uh, division players here. Uh, of course, of one of uh, the contenders for first place here, as Kiki still, is still alive. He's behind the team division, and he's trying to find some of them. And he has don't to shoot, shoot. Don't shoot! Don't shoot! I think this was the moment where he could drop some of them and make some more chaos happening in the in this side of the zone i mean they only have two kills on their side so even that third kill Ooh. is not going to give that po many points as long as they can he can survive for a longer time period so that is going to be kartoshka one more time out of the game here unfortunately uh dropped by the helpful hands of mighty wolves with uh general in front there and uh Isn't division it always like that whenever we, we watch them and give them a little bit of props they get dropped down as well as the kickies we 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 saw what he, what position he had. Yeah, like right so. now he just gave it away and, and he lost it uh, as the A team out. He was not considering the fact that uh, the division players will still check behind themselves. I mean, this is like a golden rule of PUBG. Whenever you're moving, uh, even if you think that you are completely safe, uh, definitely check behind you because there can be players literally next by here so now nbs lol uh together with kaz understanding that there are players moving in here kaz will already drop flabber here will finish him off most likely as that is going to be one man for division down here nbs lol changing his position just to see if he can spot out any of these players and oh my god they little does he know there's literally three of them in front and somewhere behind there, there's another player, uh, another player from the last player from the Garlicola. That there one is somewhere sitting in in, in middle of the mountains. It's going to be an interesting fight. And right now, the general is getting some shots and gets some. Uh, who down? Anabolis. Anabolis, yeah. It's so. the never-ending fight with the have between those <laughs> houses. And as we can see from the next zone. Only the oh. team Mighty Wolves. This is the map where they always find the really good zones for them. This is not the first time when it happens. And right now they're going to be waiting for the next teams to approach them. That is the aggressive support that they're going to have to push them. Or otherwise find a better way to approach the new zone. But right now... Mighty Wolves are the only ones in there. Yeah, and as soon as the new zone showed, Lietuvus Atatus, as you can see, decided to go for an instant move into the zone, understanding that there's going to be a lot of kills happening their way uh, if they get uh, to these uh, new zone positions quick enough, of course, making sure to peek over every ledge here just to see if there are any enemy, uh, enemy players spawning out positions of themselves. Alchemist will actually go down by NBS, lol, uh, Nade, and he will be finished off, so that's another player down on the side of Division here. So still, NBS LOL with the help of his teammate picking up kills here already. Currently sitting on six, six uh, looking to add on top of that. And uh, Mops is here, last man standing up on the side of Division, uh, same as uh, Terry for Garlic Cola. Uh, looking to see if he can survive long, is long for as long as Terry did. But as I say that, he was taken out in the process there, unfortunately. And will find yeah, yeah, lobby yeah. number six. And yep. that is uh, no organization out of the game here, as only four teams remaining here. Division will be eliminated, and that is ten people, four teams. That is Littest, Mighty Wolves. Uh, who else do we have? Aggressive, I bet, Supruato, and our final lobby is... Lietuvos uh, Ateitis. There we go. So those are the fi uh, final four teams here as the next phase is already on the move. So still another minute for these teams to get into the actual zone. NBS already taking shots they're towards taking him. If they're taking the bike in this and, and in this moment. I think this was a risky way to do it. And the Kaz is the only one to survive that kind of trip. And it looks like, yeah, he's going to be staying there in the... What's happening? The, he's going to be staying there and waiting for the other teams to approach him as... Another team that we haven't talked about so much in this game is the Little Satatus that right now is performing really well. They have the high ground, they have they have everything what they wanted, and right now they're picking down the aggressive but support to what they had to leave those houses and right now only one of them is left, Anabolin. And he's trying to get into zone, and he's going oh, to. That's going to be aggressive. I bet support out of the game. As also Lita was Atatis did manage to knock out uh, Lita's players till the very end, meaning that there is only Mighty Wolves remaining here, who definitely didn't show up so far today. So they are looking to secure this game for themselves. Unfortunately, Kiwush did miss that 
Uh, Car 98 shot and obviously both of these teams now understand that they're literally on the opposite sides of this final phase here so the question is where the next zone is going to be and how they do need to approach it and if this falls into hands of Mighty Wolves nope that's not going to be the case you can see uh, back already understanding the situation is going to be heading towards the left hand side here but has now covered and has taken a few bullets to the body there as General will already drop down T-I-E-E -E. Uh, in the process, Armand's, uh, Armand's was the one shooting uh, back there, so this now Mighty Wolves. Yeah, this wasn't the moment for the Little Satetis to move to the new grounds. I think they had to wait a little bit more for the team Mighty Wolves to move out and then pick up the fight. But they do, did it a little bit too fast. Now that they dropped one of the members down from the Little Satetis, they understood that this is the moment to move out and the general gets dropped down by the Valky? Valky? Yeah, Valky. Vac LT is going to drop down General here, obviously also dealing a lot of damage towards these other players. Armand will be knocked down, that will only be Kulish last man standing here. He's going to be smoking off Armand and looking to see it. if he can uh, pick him up. But those few shots already make him change his mind. As he's it's only one second left in the phase 7, is going to be tuning in and that means he's going to get pushed out and all the others going to be standing on the ridge of the mountains and trying to pick him down as he gets really low. Oh, he's, somehow he's trying to get up the general. He's still somehow alive and looking to pick up general. Of course, the blue zone is going to be moving slower here, and you can see Vak already on the flank here is going to most likely position himself towards this uh, closest haystack as they are going to be deploying smokes here constantly. But they're in a world of trouble as Armand will go down to the blue zone. General will be dropped one more time. Only Kiwish uh, last man standing here, and Lieta was a tape is looking to secure back to back victories they have here. have a really good position right now. They have one player on the hill, they have Groovy pushing in. And from the other side, they have Wak pushing as well. There's only a smoke with the, with the Kivish is living in. And Kivish gets one down from the other side. And he's, he's going to be finishing off, off for, of the, for, the, for the points. The T is up in the mountain. In the other side, there's Gruwi pushing in. And it looks like he's not trying to, to, to risk it. No, but he's just going to wait for the blue zone to do yeah. the job for him. And, and he's going to be like falling back. And he understands back. that kind of point. He's just going to wait for the smokes to end. Because in both sides, there's a tie waiting up there in the mountain. He sees the Kyubish. It looks like it's going to be just a few shots. And that's it. That's, that's the end the of it. I mean, uh, finally, for the first time in uh, these weeks, especially now in week three, we finally see back-to-back -back victories happening here. And that first team that has managed to do so is Lietuvos Atetis. So they have gained definitely a lot of points. Uh, on top of things, they currently also have nine kills in this game. So that is extra points on the top. Props to Mighty Wolves finally showing up here on this week as well, mm -hmm. uh, as expected from them. Sitting down currently on 10 kills in this game and definitely not a bad performance coming out of them. Yeah. Slightly unlucky there that uh, they were uh, forced out of their position and went down. In the third place we have Aggressive Abed Supro 2. They showed a really good aggressive play in the late game. What uh, they, they were picking few like uh, long long time uh, long targets, and they had this never-ending fight between the houses where there were mighty wolves and them in the other side of the yeah. road. As well, good props as well to the litters. They got dro dropped down really good. They got dropped down really good players of their team, and they only two members were left, and they took it to the fourth place and secured few of the points. But they, I mean, they still had seven kills here, so. That's definitely uh, yeah. a sight uh, to behold on its own. So most likely they're not going to be dropped from the first place yeah. in standings. And in the fifth place we have the Team Division. Yeah, so Team Division last week and week number one, we did saw them performing better, I would say, than what we've seen overall here in this week. But the last game did definitely offer more opportunities for this team uh, mm -hmm. to rise up in the ranks there or establish their points because they were currently now, what, in the third place? And the yes. battle is between them, aggressive by Betsu Pruotu, and as well as a It's really Wolves. interesting. I want to see the, the points right now in this, in this particular second because what, what we have is... 100 point difference for the like yeah, almost so, so few from, hundred point difference from the second place till the fourth one we had a uh, variable of uh, 100 points mm -hmm. here so we're gonna so. combine uh, compile the uh, standings in a moment here so one yeah. more time well first of all week three uh PUBG four games per Woo! day how do you like it so far because i mean i've I was definitely, I'll be honest here, coming into PUBG 
and uh, not really knowing what's going on in the scene, specifically in the Baltics, and not mm -hmm. understanding what we can expect from these teams. We definitely have favorites that are crystallized out here. And of course, uh, we also see a lot of new talents coming up here. And also, yeah. I like to see that the teams are learning from their mistakes and definitely are analyzing how they should approach, like one of the examples being uh, Saber. Mm -hmm. and, and, and as well, you never know how the game's gonna go. Oh, if we compare the games that we had in the first week and the second week and right now, they are kind of different. Of course, we have the favorites down there as like the Lithus, Agressiva, Lietuvas, Division and Mighty Wolves. But yeah. the other teams are still there. They're knocking down the positions after positions and let's say two, three weeks later, we're going to look at the numbers and we're going to see more surprises, hopefully. Yeah, I would expect to see, uh, what do you mean, also rising up in the ranks again, but now we do have updated standings here, so we're just going to briefly have a look and see where we stand. So, Littest have finally broken through the 5,000 point threshold and after week no three... No surprise by that. Yeah. Not surprised, but that's definitely a lot more points than I thought any team is going to have after three weeks. So, pleasant sight to behold, 5,185 points in their pockets. Almost 2,000 out of those are kill points. 2K. Yeah, but it's so close. It's still close. Like, if we look at the next position aggressive but super auto, we can see that there is only less than 200 like yeah it's less than it's almost 100 point difference Bit i mean rough. thousand and hundred point difference sorry yeah. pardon me oh so it's still two or three games if let us let's say drops out really fast in the games they can actually try to reach that position of course but if you look at the point difference speaking of point difference between aggressive a bit support and uh, mighty wolves that are currently yeah. in the third position there's only 40 points their division unfortunately have fallen ever slightly so uh, further back here with 3890 points which is also just a question of where the standings fall in within it's a difference one by one game. or two games yeah so on fifth position after week three we do have leah was a a very pleasant sight to behold they definitely picked up the pace this week unfortunately news for garlic cola like they they definitely have been a presence on the map and in these games but still currently sitting in sixth position and our surprise of the day i would say is what do you mean yep. rising on, through the ranks here currently in seventh position maybe it's good that they dropped out the ab williams to the team Xander. they switched shots fired <laughs> uh, so also point of discussion at some point in time as moving on we do have from silver to land in the eighth position no organization only following them close by by five points only by five points that divided to eighth or ninth place and uh, to be honest no organization they they didn't have a few impactful kills uh, during this day uh, especially i feel like that was Paharit, the player that was uh, dropping left and right with the mm -hmm. SKS there. So good job coming out from him. Afterwards, we do have Pandora and Praise the Lord. Teams that are kind of like, okay, they're, so they're performing, but they're, it doesn't look like they're really changing their approach. Somehow, pa Praise the Lord did win a game in the very first week. That was the very first game that they played. But I mm -hmm. feel like that so far has been the pinnacle of their capability. So food for thought for them. And one more time, Sabre, the team that we have been praising, coming in from the last spot at the yeah, beginning of today. they just lost the game. They were the first first team to get eliminated yeah. in the last match and they're still standing in the 12th position uh, with with a little bit of point or points over the discount gaming that are in the 13th place and the cable nights in the 14th yeah and uh, accordingly uh the final teams that we do have in the standings here we're going to see in a second uh, i think ascenda yep yeah, those are still the last guys here the ones before that is pew pew four gentlemen there figure of five i feel like is the team that should not be here as yes. well as Kuhn, they should be higher. Well, it's it's well, I would. It's the same thing what I said in the second after the second week. It's still the third week, right? Everything can change a little bit in the point wise in the upcoming weeks, and uh, I hope to see you all there uh, tuning in in the next weeks as well to to see us being here and the games being played of course so not to miss that uh one more time quick reminder first of all thank you everyone who has already subscribed if you like press on that little bell thingy next to the subscribe button you will be notified onto your phones when we go live the next following week on saturday where we will meet one more time that is going to be week number four mm -hmm. already time is flying fast congratulations whoever won 
the uh, vault giveaway and same goes for the person who is already downloading battlefield hopefully uh more of those giveaways on the way for us uh, but I feel like it's been definitely a crazy week for PUBG. A lot of crazy pathways uh, yeah. for the airplane uh, trajectories. A lot of fights, it was a lot of aggression. An interesting day of PUBG. Games. An interesting day of uh, PUBG. As now we will say goodbye for now, but we will see you in the next following week. As uh, there's still a lot of shooting ahead. Thank you for joining in. I'm V. He's nobody. We're gonna toast with our pants. There you go. Goodbye. Bye. So much in between Things we've never seen Waste.